All right, lie down. Like this? There. Mm -hmm. What's that for? To keep your head in place during the scan. Mm -hmm. Arms on your side. I'm sorry. It's all right. Please take your time to relax for now. I'm sorry, I just... Let me know when you're ready. Yes. <sighs> Judging from these results, everything is all right with you, Irina. Nothing seems to be wrong with your brain. Well, to be more specific, physically you're fine. I can't tell from these if it's something psychological. As for the headaches you're having, maybe it's just from personal issues. No, no, no. Everything's fine personally. These headaches I've been having are relentless, and they're really painful when they come. Is that so? I'm sure it's nothing too severe. Let me prescribe these drops for the pain. It's very effective. Many of my patients are satisfied with the results, but of course a healthy diet and exercise help as well. I'm doing all that already, Doctor. I even go swimming and work out. I see. When my wife has those, she just goes out shopping. She ends up buying so much stuff, and I mean a lot, and guess what? Her headache? It's like she never had one. And then I get a headache. Here's your card. Thank you for your purchase. Thanks Please come again. back again. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Hello there. How may I help you? I'd like to see the wedding rings you have available. Of course. Come on, are you been watching where you're going when you're coming out of your slot just now? Just look at this mess. We meet again. <laughs> it's completely my fault. I will pay for the damage I caused to your car. Hey, there's no need. Seriously, I insist. This is no, no bother to me at all, I'm this. telling you. It's just that I don't have any money on me right now, but I can find an ATM. I said it's fine. You can go. Thank you for your kindness. Um, look, if it's really that important to you, then I'll, um, give you my number so you can call me.
Take care while driving. Why are you always getting into trouble recently? Either you get hit by someone or you do it. Why do you insist on driving? For example, why don't I get you a driver? Take Paul, for instance. You'll be safer with him. How many times must I tell you? Stop playing while we're eating. Clean up after yourself. Your toys are everywhere. Dad, could you stop giving us lectures while we're all having breakfast? When your father is speaking to you, have the courtesy to let him finish what he's saying. You're what, only 13? Yet you're already wearing makeup? Dad, please. Please what? You're not a model in school. Right. Ah, my brother invited us to visit him tomorrow. Uh, sure, we can go. Well? I promise I'll be careful. Can I take your word on this matter? Yes. By the way, he has this big event as well. Some kind of race, I think. Interested? Of course. Right, Mom? Yes, I'm sure it will be very exciting. You sure? Yes. I won't be back in time for dinner. Excuse me, I'll be going ahead. Hooray! We're going to race us tomorrow! <laughs> Mom, can I skip it? Someone has to give him the flowers. Keep dreaming. Do you mind if I do it? It is. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Can you tell us what you're feeling having finished first against all your competitors? It and I can't thank you enough for doing this. I can't believe I'm relying on such useless assistance. Through here, be careful where you step. Watch out. The awarding ceremony for our top competitors will begin in just a few moments. Please welcome step. the mayor of our city who will give his opening remarks shortly. Our dear mayor, Victor. Good day to you all, ladies and gentlemen. On the city's behalf, along with its administration, I would like to present this trophy to the winner of this race. Ladies and gentlemen, Andre Gavrucho. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the winner. Congratulations. regional champion, businessman and gold medal winner, Andre Gavrucho. I'd also like to remind everyone that a month from now, we'll be holding a concert here to celebrate the upcoming City Day. So don't forget to mark your calendars. Once again, I'm inviting hey everyone to be present Congratulations. in our Thank you. Month. And now, a message for our gracious You're, You're uh, holding those flowers off with me. It's all torn up. I would like to thank our sponsors for their support in this event. Take these. Use Secondly, them to cover up for now. Like you want to try and fix it? I would like that very much. All right, then. This Follow me. This would not be possible mm -hmm. without everyone's support. Once again, you have our utmost thanks for attending. And may everyone here have a wonderful day ahead of you. I can do it myself. Let me help you down. I got it. Where to? Right this way. This event is hereby concluded. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone, and thank you for coming today. We'll see you next month for City Day, and have a great day. How was my speech? Are you fighting with Daria? Everything's fine. Hmm? Igor, I've hired a new secretary who happens to be a nice girl, I'll have you know. Victor. What's that for? It's a small city, so everyone knows everyone. 
There's nothing between us, I swear. It's not what you think. Plus, Daria's been in the mood these past few days. She's definitely bored here. She misses the capital. She's right. There's nothing for the two of you out here. We'll promote you. Come on, Igor. Are you serious? You've done a lot for me already. So what? You're my brother. Yours. It was just a small scratch. Oh, <laughs> it looks like we got glued together. Give me a second. I'll call for some help. Valera, give me some gas. <laughs> What's the, the gas, gas for? Helps move. Irina! I'll be right there. My hand is stuck. We're leaving. Of course. Is he your husband? He yes. looks rather familiar. His surname is Palagin. And by default, I'm What's Mrs. going on? Palagin. She'll be with you in a moment. I'll be right there. I have to go now. Let me try again. <laughs> See you around. My hand there was you are. To what are you doing back here? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> You're my hero. <laughs> Dory, can we stop this? I have some good news for you. Darling. Come on. I know you want to hear it. We'll talk when we're home. All right, then. OK? Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the event is now finished. We thank you all for attending and thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. It's time for you to move into the spotlight, so you have to prepare. Think it over. Of course, I will. Congratulations. <laughs> well done, finishing first. Why are you looking at him like that? You look like you wanted to eat him up just no, now. No, shut up. I'm just looking for my son. Marbe! <laughs> Mom, I'm right here in the car. Oh, how's your head? No more headache? Thankfully, I haven't had any recently. Clearly, sports seems to have helped. Or maybe it's something else. Anyway, come see me at the club. We can play tennis and chat when you get there. See you, Daria. See ya. Thanks, Victor. It's always a pleasure. Next time you decide to do something like that, at least tell me in advance. What for? Mom pulled it off. I didn't ask for your opinion. There's no need to get mad, Igor. I just wanted to help your brother out. We've already helped him plenty by coming all the way out here to attend this event he set up. That should be it. And you know that I don't like to attend these kinds of things because my presence in these events means something. And another thing, Irina, you're a Palagin now. You can't do things like that, like abruptly going to the podium with a torn-up dress to congratulate some racer, which is what you did, so now all the tabloids will have a photo of you with that torn dress. It'll be all over their pages. What's more I'm is... I'm hungry. We're almost home, so you should wait until then, son. But I want a hamburger. Is that too much? Matvey, how many times do I have to tell you that that's junk food? I wouldn't mind having a hamburger. Me too. Hamburger! Hamburger! Why don't we get hamburgers? Something is definitely wrong with you today. Dad, I'm going to watch some oh. football. So what's this good news? My brother's promoting me back to the capital. Is that for real? Yes. I don't want to kiss you right now. Come on now. Daria, just give me a moment. If you don't want to, I won't take it. I'm actually pretty happy here. Victor, you'll be happy anywhere. You've got all the girls you like at your fingertips. You even hired one as your secretary. Now hold on, I've explained everything I don't to have you. the time to listen to your petty excuses. Meanwhile, your brother has a family that is the very definition of perfection. If you're so jealous, why don't we make another baby? Where are you going? The club. Why now? 
Because I want to relax. You dragged me all the way out there for that race, and now I'm stressed out, so I want to go to the club and relax. Daria, how is this suddenly my fault? Because. When will you be home? Soon. Just be careful. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm fine. Can you drive faster? A good massage will contribute to the overall well-being of your body. Special attention should not only be paid to the upper back, but also to your lower extremities. Areas like here need attention, too. Do you understand? Maxim Dimitrovich? Do you have a minute to come to the office? Excuse me for a moment. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go on, start taking off your clothes. Fine then. <laughs> 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 Where did my dress go? Hmm? I threw it away. It's garbage. You threw away my clothes? You still plan on wearing those rags? Never mind. Doesn't matter. You know, you always end up telling me what I should and shouldn't do. I could say the same for you, you know? What? <sighs> Let's go to sleep. Listen, Igor. We should get divorced. Hmm? <sighs> Our love has burned out already. The timing would be perfect, too. The children will leave soon. We can do it while they're away this summer. We can tell them after. Say something back. Mom, can I skip camp this summer? Mm -mm. But I really don't want to. I hate the uniform we wear. We look like early Soviet pioneers dressed with red scarves. 
It's just uniform. Meanwhile, we have to speak English for the rest of summer. But you do know it's great that you get to practice it. Not to mention it's one of the best of all the camps available. Besides, we agreed on this. It's done. Nothing left to discuss. Nina, I need to step out for a while, so could you watch them for me? It's no problem. Anything else? No, that's it. She's scary, isn't she? You're scared too? <laughs> She's just kidding, you know? Well, I am, but what's wrong with choking around a little? It's probably because you're not going to camp. There's no need to be sad this early in the morning. Why don't we play a game? Play a game? That's right. What do you say? Shall we? Let's go. Mom, are you okay? What Let game is it? The rules are simple. We take this pillow, then we throw it at each other while giving compliments. Anyone have questions? With compliments? That's right. <laughs> you're the sweetest. <laughs> you're the nicest. <laughs> then you're my pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Then Maria's an apricot. <laughs> you are the brightest. Then you're the brightest. Hey, don't repeat what I <laughs> that said. That wasn't in the rules. <laughs> it was just to lighten the mood. Come here. So do you feel better now? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> then I'm happy. <laughs> Did you have fun? Better than when I'm playing video games. <laughs> the two of you. I love you so much. Anastasia. I was just thinking that I should, you know, I... No, no, I trust you. Come in, come in. I, um, you know that I don't, um, have any idea about that part, so it's your call. Sign it. There it is. The beginning of your married life. Honey, do you love me? Of course I do. Come on, you know it didn't sound like that, and it never will. <laughs> everything good? Yes, everything's fine if you don't go into the details. Whoa, the whole city's gonna cry when you're married. What do you mean? Just the women, mostly. I've wanted to ask you this, so is she the one for you? Yes, yes, she's my one true love. Honestly, I just had to marry someone, so I ended up with her. I should code you. This would set the headlines on fire. Hey, hey, stop that, Alexei. <laughs> Anastasia's the best girl, right that. That sounds a lot better. Of course it does. By the way, the videos from the race recently are on your computer. The videos from the race? Yep. Let's have a look. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Yes? Anastasia, you... F five minutes. Give me five minutes, I'm stuck in traffic. Bye. I'm getting a divorce. With whom? My husband. Wait, 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 hold on a sec. What did you say? Hmm? I'm getting a divorce. Well, tell me his name then. You have to tell me the reason why you're getting oh, one. It isn't. <gasps> it's that razor, isn't it? Oh, come on. Tim, it has to be him, right? Race, you... I knew I was Will right. You, you do know he's engaged, little? right? So what if he's engaged? I don't really care. This is great. So tell me, where did you meet him? That accident? I hit his car with mine. And? And I thought he would start calling me names like John Blonde, but instead he calmly spoke to me. <laughs> did you notice the pair of wings behind his what? back like an angel? Because I certainly like them with the wings. Oh, Dahlia, what are you talking about? He's certainly weird, yes, but that's yes, fine. Yes. Men come in all shapes and forms. It's just up to us what we want to deal with. Mm -hmm. Enough of your smooth talk. Tell me why you're divorcing Igor. Don't tell me it's just because you like him. No. I just realized that I don't love Igor anymore. Our time is over, that's all. That's it. I can't believe it. Your marriage is over just like that? Listen, do you actually think every wife out there still loves their husband for years? You see, there are men you live with, and then there's the ones you love. They can be either, but they're never both. Your husband's the first one. Come on, really? Well... I hope you're happy with yourself. You got fired with a scandal. You should be more like your sister. She's smarter than you. Come now. What, Mom? You should be like your sister. Yes, Mom? 
I went to see Daria for a bit. I'll be right there. Angelina, it's Daria! Yes, it's been a while, hasn't it? Please tell Irina that she's crazy when she gets there. Do you know what she's planning to do? She's planning to get a divorce Hold of on. all things! Wait, what I'm not done yet! Come on. To my mother of all people! Your what? Divorce? I'll explain it to you later Irina, when I'm there, Mom. If you actually go through do with you? this, you're not the only one who's going to I'll be, be there expected. soon, so please... Just wait for me. As well because I'm married to Victor. Irina. Mom, please. Look, speak of the devil. I can see why you're going through with this. To tell you what, I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. What? You'll see in a bit. Hello there, Andre. It's nice to see you again. Unfortunately, the planned renovation of the court will be starting shortly. You'd get it. We found some cracks in the court, you see. I'm sorry, but could you come back tomorrow? That's great. See you then. What was that? That was me giving you a chance to rethink this decision of yours. Mm -hmm. Think of it this way. You are currently Irina Palagin, the wife of the Igor Palagin. Have you ever considered that? What happens when you no longer have a surname? Are you suggesting that I just cheat on him? Like, <laughs> cheat? You got me. I'm sure you're just trying to take the high road on this one. Irina, you have to face reality, all right? You live with one, love another, and sleep with a third. You can't have it all. This is too complicated for me. Well then, take care, Daria. You too, Irina. The park's development plan was approved. The plans for the future amusement park and fountains are ready too. Let's wait to here, Margarita. And for your next task, I want you to prepare a press release and have it ready. So that we can have it uploaded to our website within the day. Of course, I'll get it done for you. Do you have any questions for me? I don't. Everything is transparent and clear to me. I do enjoy when it's clear. And when it's transparent. <laughs> Come here. Are you serious? Of course. What if someone comes in? Now who would do that? <laughs> I'm the mayor. <laughs> Oh Hi, dear. Mm. I honestly thought you weren't coming. Of course coming. I would. What? Hello, Anton. Hello, hello. Here you are. Why aren't you at work? <sighs> Anton, you're fired. <laughs> Why don't you just take those to the kitchen? Oh, Mom. <laughs> so are you gonna tell me what happened? Can't you be content with what you have? And now, you're jobless again. And all of your colleagues aren't good enough for you. Just enlighten me. Is there anything that you enjoy in this life? I'm done! Of course there is, Dad! Of course there is! But I'm not going to suck up to them! Even my bosses are talentless hacks! Fine, then. Every time I take a liking on someone, mm. I'm suddenly so... inappropriate. So, screw it! I'm better off oh, without them anyway! On, son. Just, Just let me handle this, to what I have to I'll say. fix it myself, Just be honest. I don't need another lecture! Listen to me! You don't Irina, are you really work? getting a divorce? That's yes, it's life. true. I, tell you. I can't believe it. Mom, Mom, don't make such a big deal out of this. It's going to be fine. What are you, what are you wearing? You shouldn't be wearing something like this. Your hair is beautiful after all. Stop trying to change the subject. You have to tell me what happened to you. Is there someone else? Of course not. There really isn't anyone else, but there's this guy. We just recently met, but I don't know. But nothing is going on. I don't think there ever will be. It's just that I don't really know what I feel about him. It's really hard to explain. Do you get what I said? The only thing I know is that you have children. Can't this wait until they both grow up? Mom, if I wait that long, my spirit would be broken. I don't know how to explain it to you, but I haven't felt this happy in my life. When I gave birth to them, I was happy. When I was younger, too. And now it feels like I got out of the cage I found myself locked into. I don't want to be a prisoner anymore. Oh, Irina, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But you have to consider this. If your mind is already made up, there's no coming back from this. Divorce means divorce. As for the children, 
When their parents go through a divorce, they lose the role models that would teach them to love, to care, which will affect their relationships, giving them difficulty to love. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> That dress has a wonderful and creative design. The color of the dress matches any jewelry you'll wear. My dear, that dress you're in reminds me of myself during my wedding with your father all those years ago. It's great, Anastasia. <laughs> I'm honestly really jealous of how you look at that yeah, dress. Yeah, yeah, everyone will be green with envy at the look wedding. Look at her, she looks like a princess. <laughs> so, what do you think? Right? She's so pretty. Look at that. The details on the dress are amazing. Mm. You look better without it. I'll see you later. Excuse me, I'm full already. Now hold on, Matvey. Have a seat. You are not in a restaurant. You don't just leave when you please. A family gets together at the dining table. Not only for a meal, but to talk to each other, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. May I also be excused? Let them go. All right. Start packing your bags. Yes, Father. Go on. Igor? Hmm? Last night I told you something important. What now? Did you listen? Tell me again. Igor. We need to divorce. What's your response? I'm thinking. You say we, you say need, you say to divorce, but to divorce is the only thing that makes sense to me. What you mean is I, right? Not need, but want, right? Whatever, sure. I will explain everything. No need. I do have conditions. For now, I would just like for you to not act on this until autumn. Is that fine? As long as we have an agreement, then I'll comply to this. But you should know that I will consider myself divorced already. I'm sorry. Fine, then. That's fine. <sighs> Do we have an agreement? Do we even have to agree on this? You have already made a decision. I see that. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I just remembered our first time. It was like this, but with you in my arms. But all of a sudden, you moved away from me. So I suddenly started wondering, what's wrong? To be honest, I was terrified. I tell you, don't worry. <laughs> I really thought that I did something wrong earlier. But then you said, it's nothing, don't worry. And that scared me. Turns out your legs were cold. <sighs> it's funny. 
Irina, was it all a dream? Why haven't you said a word at all? There's nothing left to say. What? We should get some sleep. <clears throat> Good night. Good night, Igor. Oh, hey there. Why are you still up, huh? What took you so long? Well, a pipe burst in a swimming pool, so we had to fix it. You're a plumber? Don't tell me you're getting jealous. <laughs> you are, aren't you? <laughs> Didn't you know that the relationship between a man and a woman should be based on trust? No? It's rich coming from someone who's jealous of his secretary. Then don't give me a reason to be. Otherwise, I'll just get a divorce. What would you do if I ask you for a divorce right now? I'll hang myself. <laughs> I don't buy that one bit. I think you're more likely to hang me instead of yourself. First you, then me. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what's with the question? I was just curious. Nina, I'll be back home late today. Make sure you make dinner for both the children. Of course. And also... I know it's none of my business, but... Is this coffee cold, or is it warm? Which one? I think it's neither. You're wrong. It has to be one or the other, right? It's the same when it comes to what's your business and what is not. I'm glad you know the difference between the two. Thank you, Nina. Is it good? It's so so. Headache. Huh? It's the weather.
Yeah. Hello, Andre. Hello, Irina. I wanted to... to pay you back for the car accident we had before. I told you it's fine. Well, I insist. What time would you like to meet, then? Right now. <laughs> Hello, Andre. Let me get something out of the way. I have to tell you I've fallen for you hard. So, um, there it is. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not expecting a reply from you. I'm just so happy right now that I knew I had to tell you the moment I saw you. I couldn't just wait around to say, I love you. Honestly, I've never said that to anyone else. <laughs> but since I'm being honest, I actually have a long time ago. The first time doesn't really count, right? <laughs> I do love you. <sighs> That's it, I said it. <laughs> I finally said it. With that said, bye. See you. <sighs> I almost forgot. Here's the money for your car. Will there be anything else, sir? to kiss someone you love. I thought it would be much better. <laughs> but actually, in this reality, that's nothing more than a fantasy, isn't it? But it's comforting all the same. Then you wouldn't mind if I kiss you again. Hey, could you open the gate? Who are you? Who are we? We're relatives. Maria! Maria, what's wrong? I expected this from Matve, but you're not a child anymore. I said I'm not going. Then give me a good reason why you are. Enough of this already! The minute we'll leave, you two will get divorced. Who told you that? I just know. Good afternoon. Hello, where is Irina? Irina's upstairs, but she will be coming down soon. Please have a seat while you wait. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh. <clears throat> hey, stop it. Put them down. Dad. Hello. It's nice to see you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nina! Here are some pastries. I baked them for the kids. I know they'll be away for the so summer. So we came here to see you. I appreciate it. There's a bit of trouble upstairs, so just wait here in the meantime. I'll be back in a minute. Mm -hmm. So, this is what corruption looks like up close. Enough of that. He earned it properly. Uh-huh. Sure he did. Look, Maria. Your grandparents came to visit you I don't too. care! Could you give us a minute alone? Matve, let's go. They're going to have a girl talk. Maria. You can't make me go anywhere. I'd rather jump out of the window.
You've always dreamed of living independently from us, right? Yes, I have. That's exactly what I want. Really? Are you serious? Your father and I, don't we have the right to decide for ourselves? Maria, listen to me. You can stay here if you really want to. Unfortunately, that won't change anything. We will still get a divorce. You could have at least lied. That everything was going to be fine. I've really had enough. All the lies. I'm done. Fine. You're right. I'm sure everything will be fine. Yuri, maybe you shouldn't have come here without their invitation. There you are, oh. Igor. Hello, oh, Grandpa. I picked some cucumbers, especially for you. Thank you, Yuri. This hey, is Igor. nice. Hello, Anton. Thank You'll have to you, excuse dear. me. There's a plane we have to... Where are my manners? Please stay. We have to go, so make yourselves comfortable. Nina will attend to you. Maria! <laughs> what do you think? You like it? <laughs> now imagine while I'm wearing this ring, along with that wedding dress, then everyone goes crazy. <laughs> I can try other designs if you want to. There's this one ring that... Thank you. <laughs> Why do you look so sad? Did something happen? It's beautiful. <laughs> I think we're moving too fast, Anastasia. What do you mean too fast? The wedding's in two weeks. What do you think? Huh? <laughs> Aren't we rushing this marriage? Do you want to postpone it? No. I don't want to postpone. Thank you. Anastasia. Anastasia. Are you even going to tell me what's wrong? I'm telling you everything's fine. So you don't like me anymore? No, I do like you, but that's not the reason. Then what is it? Tell me. You and I are about to get married. We have guests, limousines, and restaurants ready. Even the, the press. Everything's paid for. Do you understand what you're saying right now? Anastasia, you are an incredible, wonderful girl, and you're amazing, and you, you, you... But I don't love you. before did you ever even love me i apologize back then i it's only now that i've come to understand what love is I've been thinking that maybe, that maybe, you've given me too much money back then, so I was thinking of giving it back. Are you asking me out on a date? And what if I am? I just want to see you right now.
<laughs> Have you told him about it? He asked me to sit tight. To wait until it's autumn. I have to go now. Oh, so you have to sit tight. Then what are we doing here now? <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Irina, listen, I want to be by your side all the time. Since the moment I met you, I knew you were the one I wanted to marry. And be the mother of my children. You know I badly want that too. Then what's stopping you? Move in with me. Stay for good. Are you serious? Absolutely. Really? Then when? <laughs> <laughs> Pleasant evening to you, Igor. There is a preliminary report in the Mints branch that came in. We need to examine it. I'll look at it later. Not in the mood? Why else? I'm tired, that's all. I get it. That kind of stress and shock could be really tiring. Which one? The same old thing. <sighs> can you give me advice? Well, what advice can I give you this time? I had a crisis in my family, my first and second wife. It's true that everything can crash at any moment. There are times when it helps to switch to something new. To change the position? <laughs> what switch do you mean? <laughs> to change the model of your behavior. Model? Wait a second. I have an interesting book. The book is entitled Self-Teaching Guide for the Gentleman. It has jokes, funny stories, sayings, a bunch of nonsense. But, you know, when it comes to women, it works quite effectively. Thank you. Take a moment and have a look. And when you have the time, please, look through the papers as well. Yes. Goodbye.
Igor, I can't live with you anymore. This is absurd. This is wrong. That's too much. Igor, divorce is just a formality. There's no sense to wait until fall. We can't keep living together. I'm quitting on you. You're right on time. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And what is this you're doing? I want some pancakes. We're nearly divorced and you're organizing family breakfasts. What is this for? Are pancakes forbidden? Are we not allowed to talk, to communicate, to maintain a human relationship? Take a seat. I also want to maintain our good relationship, but Wait a then... second, try this one. Take a bite. Come on, try it. Mm. I'm quitting on you, Igor. That's no news. We're waiting until fall. Fine, but why do we have to wait until fall? Why delay it? At 9, I have to be in the ministry, and at 11, the facility. The contractor comes at 1. Negotiations at 3 p.m. Uh, at 5, I'll be in the other ministry. Haven't I told you? They have just offered me an... official position. This is crucial for my career, and people who offer that will never understand our divorce. I'm sorry, but let me remind you that this family is supported by me. So will you ruin my career and our kids' future? It's time. I remembered a joke. A zebra asked uh, traffic police this question. Could you tell me where you got your baton? <laughs> you know I don't get the joke either. <clears throat> Does it taste good? It may not be fast food, but it's made with love. Mm. Crazy. Hi there. Excuse me, miss. Have you met? <laughs> Going to Andre? Yes, to Andre. I'd like to do you a favor, okay? Let me tell you what is likely to happen. I'm 23. <laughs> You're almost 40 with two kids. In some two years, and I'm even exaggerating this period out of kindness, Andre will be tired of his old girlfriend. He'll go to a club or a restaurant and will see me as beautiful, energetic, and young. And he'll say, Holy Lord, Anastasia, please take me back. I've been such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I see in your eyes that you're serious. Oh, darling. He had women before me, and after me, he'll get even more. That's the way he is. The only difference is that you'll go so crazy about it, and I won't. We're humans, and we all want to live life to the fullest. And that's what I want. He'll find a woman, I'll find a man, it's simple. All will be calm and quiet, and believe me, he's going to be happy with it. So who will make him happier? Who's the right woman for him? Of course it's you. You're too beautiful to pass. One day, you'll regret destroying his life.
Um, where's your stuff? Andre, we only met three days ago. And then we're moving in together? That's not how it goes. Let's not rush into things, okay? My husband's having a very tough time now. It's not his fault that I finally want to quit on him. Right now, we do like each other. But this feeling won't last. It'll go. In a month, you'll be fine yourself. But for me, this is the first time. And you, as I know, have already had a similar experience, right? Yes. Regularly. Once in six months. And I always say the same. Collect your stuff and then come live with me. together like this, right? What else can we wish for with this happiness? Tomorrow's my mom's birthday. So if you're free tomorrow, do you want to come join me? <laughs> it's my dad's birthday today. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't invite you over there yet, Andre. I'm sorry. It's fine. I just can't imagine myself living any other life than the one I have. So is that why you're still holding on to the current? Yeah. Victor. Victor. What's the matter, Margot? I just heard that you're leaving us. Is that true? Who told you that? Well, rumor has it. I don't know, I don't know. Anything can totally happen. I'll have a housewarming party. Mm. The renovation's over, but I'm just gonna stay home by myself. Mm, you're so pretty, Margot. Yeah, I know. And she's alone. I think I'll come home late tonight. There's so much to do and I have a long way to go. Yes, yes, I love you. Goodbye. Okay, I'll Calculate right. this and send mm -hmm. it to them. Got questions on this game? <laughs> no, I don't. <sighs> hey. Yeah. Have you ever experienced true love? What do you ask? When you're happy just by looking at her? When you're just so happy because... because you have her. I remember I did have one. Her name was Olga. No, not Olga. Ilya. Her body was to die for. She was gorgeous. Quiet. I really got hooked on her. You see, I'm serious. Then she moved somewhere for about... Five days, I think. So I called on another girlfriend. Finally, I felt better. <clears throat> now I have two girlfriends. They're professional. Alexei, both... hey, what are you talking about? You that's you. That That's not about me at all. And you're married. Marry, I tell you, it helps. By the way, I hope... <clears throat> Does Anastasia know about that? Yeah, I see. Either you're really serious about her or you're just an idiot. I'm not sure what you are. Alexei, are we really friends? Yeah. Uh, so perhaps you could at least respect what I feel? You have all my respect, Andre. But what happened to you, huh? You used to be this normal guy with a normal attitude to life and even <laughs> to women. This guy's nearly 40 years old. We're on the same boat. And yes, I've seen her too. A nice woman, but nothing else. Alexei, she's not just a nice woman. She's more than that. I guess I can say that. You're serious now. Mm-hmm. I am serious about her.
I'm right on time. What do you mean? <sighs> For your parents. Yeah, it's Dad's birthday. I know. I'll come with you to celebrate. <laughs> Hello? What? Why? I left. I died on the way. I'm not here. That's it. Need help? Okay, take this. And this. All right. Why are you sitting? Let's go. Let's go. I'll open it. Oh, a watch! Angelina! What? Look what she gave. It's a watch. So I'd know how much time I have left before I die. Oh, it must have it. cost a fortune. No, Daddy. No, Thank it's you, my turn. Although my present is more modest, <laughs> I hope you oh, like it. Oh, I wasn't even planning to celebrate. It was Angelina's <laughs> idea. Oh, we gave him the same gift! Uh, no, don't Dad, worry. If look. he has to, then it will last him the whole year for sure. <laughs> oh, please, take a yes. seat, Igor. Take a seat. Have a seat. You too, darling. Help yourselves. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yuri and Angelina, Anton, Irina. Let's drink to the honest, uh, modest people. There's only a few of us left. <laughs> On a more serious note, a man should build a house, plant a tree, and bring up a son, and you've achieved all those three. Really? <laughs> I'm wondering how he did that. The flat was inherited from Grandma. And we don't have a country house too, do we? Where are the trees he planted? But he has a son. At least he you got that. You always need to talk out of turn. The thing is, I'm always out of turn, am I? Wait till I could find a job, rent a flat, and soon we can exchange family visits. Don't you agree, Dad? Happy birthday to you, Yuri. Thank you, Igor. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Anton, do you have trouble with work? Oh, no, no. There's no problem. You finished the institute, right? Mechanical engineering? Yes, that's right. Institute of Electrical Engineering. I do have a modern electrical engineering department. Hmm. If you want, you can try out as a senior specialist. A senior specialist, huh? I'll consider it. Look, he'll still think about it. What is there to be considered here? Let's fill our glasses. Come on. <laughs> to everything getting better. Thank you very much, Igor. Anything for you, Yuri. Cheers. Thank you. Hello. It's you again. What's up with that 14th mile? What's the problem? What do you mean there's no equipment? <sighs> Fine, I'll go there myself. I'm sorry it's all hands on deck time. You can go home, I'll follow. Do you want me to go with you? To tramp through the hmm? mud? I've never seen you working on site. <laughs> do you really think it's interesting? Yes, I do. Then let's go. I'll be quick. Mr. Igor, good afternoon. Okay, we can go. What's wrong? You have dirt here. Now your hand is dirty too. Come on, let's go. <laughs> What's happening to Igor these days? I've never seen him act like that. 
He's never behaved like that, you know. What's unclear for you here? He's doing what he's supposed to. He doesn't want a divorce. He's afraid to lose you, that's it. Got it? <laughs> hey, hold on, can we stop uh -huh. for a sec? <sighs> Hello, Andre? Yes, today, I remember. Do you think that's okay? She doesn't know me, but I'll come to her birthday. If you think so. <laughs> All right, see you. What's with that smile? Who was that? Andre called me. It's his mom's birthday today. And he wants me to come along with him. And you? Mm, I think I'm not ready to go with him. <laughs> the stage is called The Girl is Confused. I was in the same situation a year ago. And you know who helped me? Who? This one excellent psychologist. Oh, come on. No, no, you have to meet him. Daria. Let's go. It's very nice to you. I'm sure you'll like him. Gosh. Oh. Hello there, Natalie. May we come in? Yes, come in. May we bother you for a minute? You see, it's about a very urgent matter. There is a problem that we need your help with. This is uh, uh, my relative. Don't be absurd. This relative is Irina. Now it's your turn. Talk to him. Come on, come on. I'm listening. <laughs> Hello, Anatoly. What is I'll it? Leave you now. Do you remember me having visited you a couple of days ago because of my headaches? Ah, uh, yeah, I do. I remember. You remember? So you still have headaches? I don't. It's over. <laughs> well, then. What else is your problem? They're not really problems, but there are some doubts. I'm about to go through a divorce. But suddenly it dawned upon me that I don't know my husband very well. Hmm. I mean, I was planning to divorce from one person, and all of a sudden... He's like a different person. I see. Then let me give you some simple, down-to-earth advice. Now we're having an informal conversation, aren't we? My best advice to you is to start an affair with someone who has neither tasted bitter nor sweet. Then you'll understand whether you want to stay with your husband or not. So let me ask you, got plans for tonight? Do you always joke like that? Do you think I'm joking? I'm a man. You're the woman who... I want to lay my eyes on. Now maybe you're happy to hear that, right? Answer quickly without thinking. So what? You have a syndrome called Sleeping Beauty Syndrome, but now you're awake. And there's one in two men who seem to have your attention. But moreover, you're afraid of this feeling. Why should I be afraid? <sighs> you were asking me about tonight. Why should we delay meeting for the evening if we can do it right now? Right, doctor? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, let's do it now. Someone might come in. Then we'll close the door. Huh? You're too brave in words. But when it's time to act, you're just folding up. You yourself could use some help, Dr. Anatoly. You have a good evening. We've arrived. Now, what's up? Do you feel cold? <laughs> Not really. It's my first motorcycle ride. Help yourselves to all the food and drinks. Also, I want you to think of more good things to say about me. A toast to you, my darling. Anastasia. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice to see you, but why are you by yourself? Oh, I just dropped by. This is my gift for you. Well, let me ask you something first. What do you mean you're dropping by? Why are you here alone? Where is Andre? I don't feel good about this. Are you sure Mom's we're doing the, the right thing? the nicest person in the world. What are you talking about? Are you sure that everything's going to be fine? I'm sure of it. Mm -hmm. Come on, just relax, okay? You've broken up? And it's right before your wedding? Anastasia, you're kidding me. My mother is a sculptor. So she loves everything that's beautiful. <laughs> that means she'll love you too. <laughs> the girl is Irina Palagin, the wife of Igor Palagin, a real estate tycoon and a powerful person. This is unbelievable. A married woman with two children? Well, mother. This is really awkward. Andre. Andre. Happy birthday to you, Mom. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. And we got something for you. Thank you, son. Why am I the last to know about your recent life changes? Um, well, um, um, uh, Mom, this is Irina. Irina. Mm -hmm. I just haven't had the time to introduce her, but I think you're informed by now. So you're the new friend of Andre? 
You want to give us honor by paying us a visit? There are no strict rules here. We welcome all kinds of visitors. Mom. It would have been better if you brought your husband and kids with you. Mom, come on. Take it easy. Don't be so blunt with her. Hiruna and I are getting married. Of all days, I'm glad to hear such great news on my birthday. <laughs> Seriously, I wonder who you'll bring with you next time. Your grandchildren. Oh, I only hope that you'll warn me in advance. I'm sorry. You? I probably shouldn't have come to your event. I'll just leave. What are you oh, saying? It's, it's my mom's birthday. Aren't you happy we're now getting acquainted? <laughs> Having two brides makes everything more interesting. Mom. What a mess. Now, how do I introduce you to my guests? As a wife? Sorry, I forgot your surname. Please, Mom. Or as the <clears throat> second fiancé of my Mom, son who was married Stop. to someone else. I think I should get going. I'm sorry for spoiling Wait, no, your No, no, no. Don't Irina, go after Irina, me, okay? Where are you going? Don't Bye. leave like this. Irina. Mom, what was that for? How could you do that? How could you do that to your mom? Irina! Uh. <laughs> Andre! <sighs> Excuse me, could you drop me off at the town? Mom, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm okay. I just got dizzy, that's all. Maybe it's just the effect Should of the champagne. Should we call an ambulance? No, no ambulance. Mom, are you I sure? don't need one. Anastasia, could you leave us for a second? My Andre, for all the women in this world, why do you choose a married woman? Mom, I just <laughs> fell in love. You understand? And it happens to everyone. I'm in love like an idiot. You can say Look so. At that. My goodness, now you're talking just like your father. Ah, uh, if you talk about that, I know it's going to make you feel better, right? Do you remember? But Andre, was... you know very well that it's my birthday today. If you have already decided to court a married woman with two kids, then you could have taken a moment to inform me about Mom, it. I... Is it that Mom, easy for you to forget your own listen mother? Listen to me, you've been told the wrong version. Give me time later and I'll explain it to you. I'll be back soon. Why is he treating me that way? Anastasia. What for? My dear Anastasia, calm down. Collect yourself and be strong. It happens to men when they're having troubles and relationships with women. Everything will be all right, so calm down. You should only be patient. Mom, I'm sorry, but I need to leave. Okay. He will get over it, too. Everything will work out for the best. He's a perfectionist, and someone like him would only love the best. There's no one else better than you. How I wish. Need anything, Igor? You called for me? I have. Yes, I have. There's a guy at the reception, Anton Korobkov. Well? Just assign him uh, a random position and let him sit all day. Since I observe that that's what he's good at anyway, if he asks what to do, then explain it to him. If he doesn't, then let him be. Please bring Anton inside. Hello, Anton. Come in. So now, uh, I would like to entrust to you this uh, let's call it a demanding sphere of work. Thank you very much, Igor. I promise I'll do my best. To his office. This way, sir. Okay. It's a family issue.
Excuse me, Igor. Mm. I'm a little worried about Minsk. The kids? Is anything wrong? No, I mean the sports facility. There are definitely uh. some troubles over there. Well, of course, I can fly there if needed. Fly there. Ah, listen. If a real gentleman feels his beloved one is acting cold, what he should do is take her back to the place where they kissed for the first time in order to repeat that very romantic moment. Would it work on my wife? Um, I'll come back later. Uh, okay. Yeah? Irina, do you want us to drive somewhere tonight? Where to? Not to a construction site. <laughs> uh, for the dress code, mm, retro in the 90s? <laughs> That's intriguing. All right. Irina? Are you home? This big house seems empty without kids. This is for you. Thanks. Are we celebrating something? I would like to ask you out on a date. Where are we going? <laughs> no longer would he fall for anyone. He doesn't seem to care at all. What's this game about? When they about? refused him, he would simply shrug at them. And when they betrayed, he was glad to rest. He still sought them out without rapture. Stop fooling around. he left around. them without regret. Where are we driving hardly to? Hardly remembering any traces of their love and spite. Come on, Let's tell go. me where Let's we're go. going. Igor! Stop asking. It'll be fun. Huh. <laughs> what is this? What do you mean? It's the first car we bought. Remember our times in it together? Driving at a speed of 25 miles an hour? It's like a shot. <laughs> but that was some 14 years ago. I bought it for peanuts from our retiree, so it was rusty. It was complete trash that it broke on our third mile as soon as we were in the countryside. <laughs> and here, we had to stay overnight. You were so scared. So am I now. Penny, for your thoughts? <sighs> Just get in. Get in. Where are we going? Forward to the bright new past. now. <sighs> Remember this place? Yes, but why are we here? Try to recall. Hmm? What were we doing here before? Go back in time. You and I were picking mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Your answer is wrong. I remember it now. We were searching for the mushrooms, the nurse on the birch trees. What uh, nurse are you talking about? Of chaga mushrooms. <laughs> People make tea out of them. But if you look everywhere, there's not a single birch tree around us. Yeah, there are no birch trees. <laughs> the river. <laughs> Have we swam in this river? Hold on. <sighs> What's that? Open it. <sighs> 
This is you. It's a girl. And here's me. A boy. <laughs> You kept them for 15 years? This is not really about you. I approached you and then... I asked you... Will you marry me, Irina? I promise that I will love you... For all time. I asked you, how is that? To the sky and above? Hmm. I answered you up to the sky, and above. You've kept everything. So what should we do now? Do we break them? Throw them away? This is like a cliffhanger in a movie. What a great job, professionals! Sorry, Mr. Igor, but the agreement says security is deactivated only by your written permission. I'll endorse you for a reward. Would you turn your backs on us? We're having a romantic date. Let's go. Irina. Let's go back home now. Seven roses. White ones. White roses. For you. Hello. Sorry, I suddenly showed up. Your mom asked me to tell you that she's okay, so you don't need to worry about her. And also, I left some of my stuff here. Can I take them? Go ahead. Thank you, Andre. You're alone? I am. Your stuff's over there. In here? They're inside. Are you hiding it from anyone? <laughs> Don't, I don't love you, Irina. Don't do it. Didn't you hear me? I said I don't want to. I want it. I don't. Stop it right now. Please don't touch me. Stop it. I want you. Please stop it. Come here. Stop it. Stop it. Please. I don't want to do let it. Me. Please let me go. Don't do anything. What's don't the touch problem? me. Don't do it. Don't touch me. I don't think I can do it. I can't do this anymore. What are you saying? I'm leaving you.
When you called me, I didn't pick up. I didn't know what to say. But now I know. Hello there. Anastasia. Why are you... Anastasia, what are you doing? Anastasia! Irina, I'm sorry. She was just changing. She's only here to collect her things. Irina. Irina, it's not what you're thinking. That's nonsense. Look at me. Get ready, I'm calling a taxi. Yes, hello. I need a taxi, please. Good morning. Good morning. Irina. Sorry for what I did yesterday. I know it was wrong. You don't need to tell me that. Huh? I'm already used to it. To being treated as one of your properties, just like this house. All the cars, your money, and your business ventures. And I come with a cost as a package deal. Like an inanimate object, you know? <sighs> that you could use whenever, if it supports your interests. Want some coffee? Mm, thank you. Let me pour it for you. Should I book the tickets already? To where? We've decided. We're going to see our children together. Yes. Our children. We'll see them together. Mm -hmm. I'll go pack my stuff. Irina. Hello? What is it? I thought I needed to clarify what happened. Andre, I don't have time for this. I have a flight to catch tonight. But there is still some time left. We really have to meet. What for? Because it seems you got the wrong impression of things. On the contrary, everything fell into place. Irina, let me drive over to your house and I'll explain everything to you in don't you dare come near my house. I'll go there myself.
can't live this life without you. I wouldn't be able to. You'll get through it. And I'll make things work on my end. Let's just face our own problems. You're back together with your girlfriend again, right? No. And I have returned to my husband. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> So that's all. Get out of the car, please. Leave me alone. All right. I... I'm telling you to leave me, Andre. Should I leave the car myself? Take it. Go home. In the car! No, it's fine, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. It's all gonna be okay. Hold on to this. <laughs> they didn't know what is this just for. Keep it there. All right, Come all right. On. All right, I'll do it, but just wait a moment. I'll put it on later. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What's gonna happen? Take your stuff and move in with me. Then I'll do that. Right away. Субтитры 
Hey, Stop nagging oi. me! Don't I told you to, to be like quiet! That. Stop messing around. Would you look at that? Stop it! Stop it! Victor. Oh. Isn't that Igor? Stop oh it! Oh my gosh. Igor. It's me. Turn on the TV. Stop it! <sighs> Stop it! This is not good, Igor. This is not good. You're too high profile to attract attention this way. Who filmed it? I don't know. Must be some onlooker on their phone. Just what you'd expect from modern technology. All right, then. I'll give an instruction to delete this video and, if possible, keep it away from TV. Thank you. Mr. Elia, there won't be... a repeat of this. <sighs> it is what it is. And you, my friend, should be careful and not cause further incidents. We still need you very, very much. Listen, is it possible not to divorce? Well, that... I'm afraid it isn't. You should just leave your wife. Give her a house or a flat, even a car. You can throw in some money. It's usual practice. We've all been there. It just so happened, when my own wife started cheating on me, I decided not to make a fuss. I hardly said a word to her. I quietly filed for divorce. And later I explained everything to her. That's it, honey. You're free to go wherever you want to go. But you've got nothing starting today. You won't need it. So you can live with that love of yours. <laughs> <laughs> so it turned out like in fairy tales. There used to be a wooden house, and then... That's all gone. Her man left her. She's renting a flat, begging me to take her back. I'll give it some thought. Maybe I'll forgive her. Maybe not. What's important is that everything's quiet. And that there is no one filming scandalous issues. Well, everything's calm. No disturbance. Only silence. Igor, listen. People are always watching since we're public figures. What I'm trying to say is make people happy. Understand? I'll do my best. And I'll make sure that everyone involved will be satisfied. Anastasia! Lita, where is she? She was here earlier. I'm not sure if she went outside. Have you seen her in the morning? I haven't. Why? Anastasia! Hey, you surprised me. What in the world happened? Nothing has happened just yet. I'll tell you later. She might be in the garden. Anastasia! Daughter! I've been calling you. Why weren't you answering your phone? I was worried. So was your mom. So would you like to see him begging on his knees? No. No. What do I do then? I've got high-profile people coming from Moscow. But now I need to cancel all invitations. We've already paid for the restaurants, as well as the rooms. The clothes and cars. Also, your wedding has announcements posted all over the newspaper and... Just calm down. What do you mean, calm down? We'll be living in this town. <sighs> Bastard. He even called me father. Please, don't do anything.
Would you like me to ruin him? What do you mean? We put him in prison. For what? You see, those who are in business here always have reasons to be. Do it. Hmm. The things I do for love. Honey, what's up? What's going on? Wh what video? Hello? Andre. Yes? Maria sent me a link. There's a video going around. Mm hmm. Prepare the documents for divorce. The goal is to leave my wife, Irina Palagin, without a penny to her name. Not even real estate or property? Not a cent. <laughs> and also, the kids will stay with me. It will be difficult. I need to think it over. I'll be the one to do the thinking. Do it. That's your job. That's all. Let's head out now. Shestakov, listen carefully. Write this down. His name is Andrei Gavryushov. Yes. Make sure you give it your all. Do I have to tell you? Are you crazy, Shestakov? What do you think of me? I have no need for dead bodies. I said give it your all, but I didn't mean... Ah, you can do that too. All right, all right, you can stop bragging. In short, I want you to make it so that he'd want to die by himself. Got it? And I need you to act fast. Make it tough and legal. Got it? Excuse me. Good day. Hello. Alexei Leovkin. A friend and lawyer of this <clears throat> victim. Irina. My pleasure. Who's the victim here again? Look at you. <laughs> How are you? Have you got it checked? Are we filing a case today? What do you mean? Well, we can seize a couple of millions. You should really stop with the jokes, Alexei. Okay, fine. There's a gentleman with a camera outside. Must be a journalist. I threatened him to leave, but he may return. Is there something to eat in here? I'll buy something. I'll go ahead. So... <sighs> Is something wrong? Is it that serious? It's never been so serious. That's cool. <clears throat> Just cool. Then getting beaten up wasn't for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> your card's not working. Hmm? Why? What's wrong? I don't know. Maybe lack of funds or it's blocked. What? Hold on. Hello, Maria. 
sorry, no. This is Irina Palagin. Good day. Could you check my card, please? <clears throat> what? It's been blocked? To the workers of Spade and Scraps. Oh, come on, what's with the sarcasm? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Soon our city will have its own garden and a whole park. We'll even have a uh, fountain over there. I hope that these trees won't wither, that they take root so that even our great-grandchildren may enjoy them. <laughs> Hello. That's true. <laughs> Daria. Huh? Have you seen the video? Oh, Igor, I have. I would have never thought that your dear arena could... It's all such a disaster. I'm so sorry. Igor, who is this man? It's that racer you awarded recently. You're kidding. What? Are you serious? What? Didn't you know? How can I? How can I, Igor? He goes to your fitness club, so I thought maybe their relationship started there. Did you just call me their matchmaker? You know, it really hurts that you think of me that way. Did you know about their relationship? How could I have known that? I may have noticed something, but I simply thought it was nothing. You knew, and you didn't tell me. Why? Why didn't you tell him, Daria? Is this for real, you two? Both of you versus a weak woman like me. I swear I didn't know anything. Yeah, well, Irina might have told me something, but... I thought it was just a simple interest that would pass like nothing. Then did you refer her to a psychologist? You visited yourself? Why would you have any need to visit a psychologist? You want to know why I've been to a psychologist? Well, let me tell you then. It's because I have no idea where stop, you stop, go- Stop, 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 Daria. We're not talking about Victor. I can understand women's solidarity. Irina asks for your advice and she listens to you, right? Well, yes. Then could you advise her not to attract any further attention? And this video will soon be forgotten. <clears throat> Can you do that? This won't end well. Otherwise. Igor, you got him real good, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked it. <laughs> do you want to become famous too? Just like that, yes? <laughs> Daria as well? Oh, God forbid. God forbid, hmm? I'll go ahead. Goodbye. Goodbye. May God forbid. Oh, may God forbid, Igor. <laughs> For our anniversary. For your birthday. And this, when our son, Madve, was born. I gave these. Now I'll take them back. Where did you get the money? Did you happen to earn this? Did I leave it? That's no good. You've blocked the account. So you noticed. You did the right thing. Even better. That's it. I'm going to leave and get out of your life. I'm sorry. Where to? Goodbye. I'm sorry. Have you and I not already agreed that you will just sit tight until fall, haven't we? Today, 
All the channels were showing you meeting him. Out in public as if you were provoking me. Since this morning, I've been called and taught how I should behave. Sticking their nose. That's why. I told you, just sit tight. Don't make a fuss and let me finish my work until fall. Haven't I told you? Huh? What position I've been offered? Haven't I? Haven't I? Haven't I? Don't shout. You have. So I have. I'll say it again. You either live here until fall, and then we'll divorce. Quietly. That's simple. If not, I'm warning you. I'll hire a dozen attorneys to leave you without a penny to your name. I'll deprive you of everything, including parental rights. You're taking the kids from me? How could you do that? Because I can. Aren't you taking away too much? Look, these hands, they're big enough. I can hold more. Remember, you're living here until fall. <clears throat> Don't tell anyone else about our plan to divorce. I'll hush up the scandal. Don't give me more reasons otherwise. <sighs> That's enough. Do this for the kids too. All right. I'm staying here until fall. But I'll still be dating him. <laughs> dating. Go do what you want to do. Just don't get caught. Pocket money for you and your bastard. Enough? You won't take it? I'm giving it to you. <laughs> Pride, huh? You think you can still save some dignity? Can you count on him? Any more questions? No. Hello, Darya. Please don't laugh, but can you please lend me some money? I'll explain it later. Starting from 4 p.m. until 11 in the evening, you can... you can go in with your... Uh, can you tell Maxim to come to my office? All right. As I was saying... So, Ma'am Daria, did you call me? <laughs> Maxim, thank you very much for your hard work. And this is goodbye. Why? Nothing. I'm just going to close the store soon. That's not true. I know that you've been planning to expand. Well, do you think I need to report everything to you? Maxim. Maxim. Well, can you do it without my explanations? You see, I'm being closely watched. I'm feeling like I'm being monitored right now. I'm thinking about you two. Imagine what will happen if my husband learns about us. So have I just been some kind of human sex toy for you? By the way, I've been treating us seriously and was planning to propose to you. No, that's enough. Don't fool around. I'm already nervous about what might happen and here you are joking around. Can't you just leave quietly? 
Will we at least go on dates? No. Not now. Definitely not now. Later on, we'll see. I'll be waiting. Hello, Andre. I just got here. Stay inside for a while. It seems like they want to film us. Who? Is it Pelagin's people again? Well, no. I don't think so. It must be the press. I see. Don't worry. Today we'll find safe haven at Leofkin's place. It was normal. Just a woman who came for a consultation. Can I please see her medical record? I am her husband. Actually, how were you able to get here? Security is strict. The head physician. He knows me. Mm. What's wrong with her? A mental disorder? Which one? Why do you assume that she has mental sickness? She just had a simple nervous breakdown. Then it's serious. Give me her record. <sighs> come on, come on. Thank you. Why is it so vaguely worded? She has problems. Why don't you write it down as it is? Do it properly. To be honest, she doesn't have any... serious problems. You must have overlooked it. You're being unattentive. <clears throat> I know that you have a private practice. And your salary's meager. Consider this as a private consultation fee. I want to hear the whole truth. No matter how harsh it is. Well, if I treat someone exclusively on a personal I'm basis... I'm just asking you to record everything, personal or individual. Just make sure to keep me aware of all these records. I'm clearly witnessing a progressive psychotic disorder. It's just that kind of diagnosis simply doesn't exist. Then make it so that it exists! <clears throat> Excuse me. to go to the end of the world together? Then let's go. When? When indeed. Wait. Whenever we want. As soon as everything settles. No one's gonna find us there. Any news lives for three days. They're going to forget Even about us. Even news of a drunk prosecutor hitting a pedestrian or a minister stealing. I'll make a call to a travel agency, and we'll leave for a good three days, or even better, ten days. Everybody will forget about us by then. Please call them now. Please call them. Hold on. Uh, call them. Oh. Wait. Hold on, hold on. The phone. Someone's calling. Yes? What's up? Okay, okay, wait a second. Uh, uh, who is it? I got it. I said I got it. I'm coming. There again? I need to step out for a bit. 
Just wait for me here. I'll be back soon. If Alexei comes, what should I do? Alexei's pretty busy right now. He's dealing with several different problems. Mm. All right, then. I'll be back soon. See you. Wait for me here. Ah! <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you stuck That's to me? That's right. For how long? Forever. Hey, are you all right? Uh, uh, hey, have some common sense when you're driving, huh? You okay? Uh, Hold on, okay. let me have a look. Come on, get in my car. I'll drive you to the hospital. No, no, there's no need. No need? All right. Let's just go to the there's hospital. No We're in a state of shock, you understand? Uh, you look so pale. Look in the mirror. And what? What do you mean? You're looking so pale. <laughs> just like Snow White, but pretty. I'll drive you wherever you want. Everything's gonna be fine. Uh, Come on, let's get going. Hello, yes? Hello? Where are you? I'm driving with the money and you're in the middle of nowhere and heaven knows with whom. <laughs> I'll send you the location, just come here. Oh, are you in a secret place? Yes, I'm coming. All right, I'm coming. Oh, uh, Mr. Prolagin, you called for me? Yes, I did. I finished looking through the papers you gave me. Just mafia and corruption. I wanted to say that. Right this minute, you don't work here anymore. So you can go now. Well then. I wouldn't have stayed even if you paid me millions. My conscience is clear. See ya, you capitalist pigs. <laughs> hmm. Marina, my dear honey, come on in. Yes? This is my zen, where I work, where I live, and relax. Oh, we're gonna wash my hands. Of course. Hands. Please, right this way. Okay. Would you please? <clears throat> Andre, is it you? Are you done? <laughs> he should be washing his hands, too. Sorry to intrude. Marina, let me introduce, um... Irina, my uh, best friend's wife. Hello there. Uh, I think I better go. No, 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 no. I insist you stay. It's just that their water at home uh, got cut off, so they're just bothering the shower. Uh, Andre's also here, right? Please tell me he is. Marina, Marina, please wait. Marina, please. It's just <laughs> definitely not my day. Alexei, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to ruin your date. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just feel at home. Take a seat and just relax. Some tea? Or coffee? Let's just wait for Andre to come. Oh, she's back. Hello there. Hello. Well, I'm here to see Irina. <laughs> Irina, are you already with someone else? Someone else? Well, I'm the same. I'm not with her, but... I'm definitely single. Yovkin. Daria. I'm gonna wine and dine you now. Then why don't you let me help? Oh, that's great. Put that in the car. Where are you taking it? For a detailed examination. What detailed examination? These documents, you can't just take as you please. You have no papers as the law requires. It will take us a week. To abide by the law, I don't care if it takes a year. Who ordered you to do this? Is it Palagin? Palagin? Who is that?
What's happening here? They didn't say anything when they came in. They just started. And where's Lyovkin? I don't know. Who's in charge here? Are you Andrei Gavryushov? That's right. And you? Who might you be? You see, our department has a right, and even an obligation, to check your companies. If you possess any weapons, and non-lethals. And what do you want to find? Already found, Mr. Gavryushov. So who sent you? This is simply part of our duty. Please don't take it personally. You have a warrant? We've got everything. I'm sure you're aware that damaging business processes and causing uncoordinated interference in our work, according to Article 122 of the Civil Code of Russia, entails a certain liability. We know, Mr. Gavryushov. But do you understand? Yes. Okay. And here comes a female deer. So young. <laughs> Her eyes are big. So big. Like mine? That looks sad. Just like yours. That's why I couldn't help it. I couldn't. <laughs> I believe they're not sad. I think they're scared, you know? Oh, it's my friend who scared me. That's not true. Mm -hmm. No. Because she fell in love? You'd better be jealous and not scared. I've really got nothing against love. As much as you want. I'm always in favor of it. Just love like normal. Well, I've told you a thousand times. You got yourself in trouble, and now other people as well. It's become a real headache. You're Pelagin. He came to see my Victor today. And he was sending me such broad hints, as if he knew everything about me and was about to spill. I'm telling you this so you'd understand. If you want to ruin yourself, then don't drag others in. But why would Igor come to you? I'll tell you later. You're not comfortable? Mm hmm. No need. <laughs> it seems that there'll be <clears throat> a divorce. Mm hmm. You'll want a good lawyer on your side. And who else is a good lawyer here? Who? <laughs> Certainly <laughs> me. <laughs> you like it? What? The salad. I do. Irina doesn't really have much property under her name. What about the children? The case will likely come to trial. With one hang-up, Maria. Your eldest child has a right to decide, but Matvey doesn't because he's still under 10 years old, so it'll all depend on the court's decision. But their opinion counts anyway. Only outside of court. It makes no difference, in court or not. However, they do take into account the view of the children's services. They have their go-to child psychologists there. First, they question children, and then they report the results to the court. So find a person, explain the problem, and tell them to fly to Minx tomorrow. Got it. And we also need to go to the facility to check on the mess you made there without me. <laughs> it wasn't us. They did it all to themselves. Huh. <laughs> They're swindlers who even wanted to cross my palm, me! A man of integrity. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Andre. I'm home. What do you mean? Well, it's because I couldn't. I almost hit a person on the road. Can you please stop shouting at me? Irin is here. Yes. What? Wait up, hold on. J but why the hell would they do that? Huh? I had no idea about the- A love man who have humor. Enough already, please calm down. Don't tell me to stop. Everything's okay with me by now. Your husband said to behave and not make trouble. I don't know what he meant. He said to influence you. So that's what I'll do. What did he mean? Not a divorce? That's impossible. No. I think he accepts a divorce. He just asks you to sit tight. At least, for now. I just want to escape quietly, go far away and get lost for at least a week. With Andre? You can't go with Andre. He's been given travel restrictions. 
He'll be here soon to explain. What happened? It seems that your husband, Irina, just called on someone from the government services on him. They made a mess out of our office looking for something. They threatened us with a criminal case. Your husband is quite serious. <gasps> to put it mildly. Listen, Irina. Your husband encourages you to sit tight, but he's taking lots of action. Have you ever discussed the future divorce? The property issues? Who'll take the kids? But of course they're coming with me. Where are they now? They're both at summer camp. Is something wrong? No, nothing, but uh... Maybe you should take the two of them and drive somewhere far, and be abroad. Just to be safe. Huh? Darya? Hmm? More salad? Mm-mm. I better go. You won't wait for Andre? No, no, I need to go. If you think of divorcing, you need to be careful. Have you thought of it? Everybody has. In my opinion, <laughs> you just need to live your life so that everyone feels good. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Mm -hmm. The biggest challenge is to warmly welcome people first. And later to part from them the same way and thanking them for the pleasure you experienced. Is that your philosophy? No, that's not what I meant. More than philosophy, it's practice, experience. Mm. An endless love to my friends. Well, women. Well, uh... Oh, you're here. Uh, I'm sorry, I was a little, uh... Oh, sorry about this. Excuse me. The situation now is completely different. Just find another time for this. Andre, just please calm down. How would I know? We'll fix it up, believe me. That's why I told you, you should have reported the beatings to the police. Then it would have looked just like revenge. Coming from his side. This looks like revenge to me. Will you let Irina talk to her husband about it? Of course she can, but I'm not going to ask her to do it. But why? Huh? Why won't I ask her? Can't you guess yourself? Of course I can understand that you both have principles. That's why I stayed away from women with principles. And you should, too. Though it's too late at this point, in your case. You're right. We're gonna fix this. Of course. Okay, I'd better go. Andre, just a moment. I've got it, everything, I got it. Goodbye. <sighs> He's gone? Darling, <laughs> hello, my little man. 
What are you doing, chatting with someone? You don't need to know about everything. I'm not peeking, but I'm your mom and I'm just interested. Mommy's allowed. You shouldn't keep secrets from me. I'll tell you if you agree to tell me your secrets first. Mommy stopped keeping secrets. Then me too. That's a good talk. Is that home? No idea. Then what do you know? Listen, Stepan. Are there any girls you're chatting with now? I'm going out with a boy. What do you mean? Aha, uh -huh, you go. Go to the movies and play together, am I right? Don't worry, we practice safe sex. What's that? You know what? I'm not liking these kinds of jokes. And take this hat off. It's hideous. <laughs> What are you doing here? Recalling childhood? Hmm? I've been thinking about my brother's offer recently. Then? What do you think? Maybe the capital's not for us. Oh, once again. Victor, we can live here too. Of course, we definitely can. Hmm? But I just feel tired sometimes. I've seen a film about a millionaire who can't recall his surname and he breeds sheep. A <laughs> happy man. He owes nothing, has a wife and children. How cute. I came to the club. You weren't there. So tell me, where did you go? Well... Here we go again. He could have called me, Victor. I was buying you equipment at the center. Do you know how much a new gym machine costs nowadays? 13,000. Six months ago it was only 10. And then afterwards I called Irina because your brother asked me about it. So I've been thinking what my brother was hinting at me about and I... He wasn't hinting anything. I said it to Irina directly when we talked. It's just... It wasn't about Irina. It was you. What about me, Victor? Well, that's my question. <laughs> that's just nonsense. You know what? If you're so curious, just go find your brother and ask. I will. Go do it. I will. Go do it! I said I will! Aren't you afraid what he'll tell me? What? Victor, are you drunk? A little. So you're drunk? Daria. Just great. Daria, Daria. <laughs> it's the same all the time. I get back home from work tired, just wanting to Daria. give a hug to my beloved husband. But this, forgive I've been me. busy buying gym Daria, machines. Forgive me. Please Make sure it's like me. that every time. All the time. I'm, I'm fed up with Daria, that. It just keeps me, repeating. Please. I'm fed up with crying every Daria, time. I Dead, I don't it. want I'm it. Sorry. Daria. Daria, Daria, forgive me, please. Listen to me. Look at me. Just look. Look. Tell me honestly. Did you really marry me for love and only that? Certainly for love. I keep loving you, you idiot, but you keep on acting out every time. Daria, I love you very much, too. Hmm. Let's have one more child, so that Stepan won't be that bored. Victor. Victor. What is it? We can think it over, but Victor. What is it? Stepan's at home. Then let's go there. There are mosquitoes everywhere. Come on. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> bon appetit. Igor, since we've gotten as far as we have, let's be honest up until the end. Okay. Today, Andre had his office searched. There was a file on him. A file. Was it your tip that initiated them? We've talked man to man. Tip-offs are not my method. I know his company. One of my departments is cooperating with him. He's just a small fish. Although you can believe that whatever you want to. I might know who did it, though. Who? It's Kormukhin. Your lover promised to marry his daughter, poor abandoned girl pouted, and decided to take revenge through her father. So what can this Kormukhin do? Whatever. Anything for his daughter. Do you know him? Kormukhin? We are on opposite sides of the barricades, but... 
Uh, well, I could call them. <laughs> Can you really call him? This is purely business. It's not personal. He'll start to pressure your lover. Then you'll feel pity for him. Then you'll be emotional. It'll start affecting the family, but what I need right now is stability more than ever. Secondly, in our 15 years together, our memory tends to recall the good, and I'm grateful to you. In short, um, I'll call him. Thank you for that. Love cannot be forced, but don't you worry about it. It will be all right. Millions of people break up. That's okay. Life goes on. I'm only asking that you postpone it. Just until fall. You know, we've agreed about it. For my work and myself. I need to somehow come to terms with this... this loss. It hurts me, hurts me. What a strange place you've chosen, Igor. How unusual. It's so beautiful here, Konstantin. It's quiet. And the falls, though it's not Niagara. Only the sky can hear us in this place. And maybe the satellite too, right? <laughs> yes, yes. It's so strange, isn't it? Some people are flying up there, and we keep dealing with our business. Business. I've never thought that. The time will come when our interests align. If I'm not mistaken, we're here for that same reason. Yes. Mm. A social issue. Mm. Well, what... What are you planning with Andrei Gavryushov? Will you threaten him? To maybe go back to your daughter? <laughs> oh, come on. We're both adults here. Threatening is just for kids. Why? Do you want to help me? Or are you feeling sorry? Ah, your wife. Your wife asked for mercy. Did I guess that right? Well, you don't need my help. That's true. Yes, I do have the power on my own. Look at us. Finally, our two interests are meeting in between. Maybe we should cooperate in some other spheres. Cooperating? With you? And Sharpakov? No. Only with me. That sounds attractive. I'll consider it. <laughs> Give it a thought. Think about it carefully. Mm -hmm. And as for your wife's friend, I will make sure that he will want to die all on his own. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. It's a deal. Let's go. Uh, Irina, wait. I have to go already. 
Here, take this. You might need it later. Isn't this too much? Your card is blocked right now, isn't it? So please, take it. I insist. All right, then. Thank you. No problem. You're not leaving the house today? No, not today. Maybe once I'm done with all these checks I have to go through. Are they still checking on you? They sure are. That's strange. Igor promised that he would help. What? Promise to whom? Have you discussed this with anyone else? Well, I... I just wanted to. Irina, let me just be clear. I will take care of everything myself. Hmm? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I really am. Thank you. Mr. Palagin. Valeria, it's simple. I want you to convince my children they will be better off living with me. Use any method, even offer them money since they want that now. <laughs> but please do me a favor. Be as kind and warm-hearted as you can. May I? Huh? Mr. Palagin, why did you choose me of all people? I'm curious. You happen to be the best in the field of child psychology. <laughs> that means you trust me. That's uh, good. Hmm. All right, then. So I'll decide which method. Clear? Leave it to me. Right. I'm on it. Give me a second. What Here is you it? Go. Oh, thank you. Oh, of course, one? I have thank one for you. you. <laughs> I'll start them off with something concrete, but simple. Right. What's her character? Your little girl? Oh. Excuse me, Valeria, but do you have any children of your own? Or are you married, perhaps? And how is that relevant? <laughs> I can see that you're still in good shape all this time. I'm trying. So, Daria, how much did it all cost you? For the buildings and the equipment, I mean. Why, do you want to set up a business with me, huh? <laughs> it's a bad idea. Especially since I'm married to Victor, so no one bothers me. But for you, is now single? You're not a Palagin. It's impossible. Everyone will try to take advantage of you, Irina. Well, I'm certainly not a businesswoman. I still need to find a good job. Something to keep me busy. <laughs> that sounds really nice. In my honest opinion, a job? That word itself isn't really a good word. It's not what you need. At least I think so. And Andre isn't exactly poor, so I see no reason why you need to find a job. That's not the point. And what then? I want to be able to support myself. <laughs> Irina, 
A fancy woman receives no love and is there for the money. So when you start taking both, you're more like a family where everything you have, you end up sharing. <laughs> this all sucks, Andre. It doesn't make sense to seek the protection of the law. They will win. Take a look. Everything has a loophole. We need to use the contracts that we have. Irina already spoke to her husband. It turns out it was Anastasia's father, not Igor Palagin. That's surprising. Well, it's not like I don't understand him. It makes sense. A man of influence, another well-known person in the city, makes an announcement for his daughter's wedding. So he invites people in power and organizes this very expensive event. And what does the groom end up doing after all that? Have you thought about that? Of course it's a scandal. You have to talk to Anastasia. I have to? There's no way I'm talking to her again, Alexei. What's going on with you? Since we've met, I've always known you to be business-minded. You're unprincipled. Of course I mean that in the good sense of the word. Remember that love comes and goes. But business, it stays. But only if you keep it around. <laughs> What's so funny? Is this all a joke to you? You're a strange man. It's strange. You said it comes and goes. But here I am feeling this like never before in my life. And I won't exchange it for anything. I know what you're saying. I also like being loved, you know? By Daria, for instance. Hold on. Daria's married to the mayor. Yes. Then I'll ask her for help. She'll definitely listen to me if I bring it up with her. Alexei, I don't know about this. But fortunately, I know. Fortunately, I know. So where exactly are we? He said he wanted to find a job. Right. So that's why we're here. Is this the ministry? <laughs> so a friend of mine works here. He's a deputy minister. So he's this wizard of a person and sentimentalist to the core, which honestly drove me up the wall when you used to go out. So you have affairs with ministers too? Believe it or not, nothing happened <laughs> Sorry. between the two of us. He was chasing after me about five years ago. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for Victor, I wouldn't know how things would have ended with him. <laughs> you never cease to surprise me, Daria. It was all pretty innocent. It was just flowers and kisses. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> All right, everyone. Today we'll be learning how to rescue someone who's drowning. Matve, come on, your turn. I can't make it to the shore. Until we master this exercise, no one will swim in the water, got it? All right, begin. Help me, I'm drowning. Good. Somebody please help me. Take him by the head. If you grab his arm, he'll drown you too. Stop it, he said by the head and not by the hair. Can you please let go of Stop me? Stop complaining. Stop. That's you're enough, you two. You're trying to hurt me. I'm trying to save That's you. That's enough. Matvey Palagin, your dad is waiting for you at the entrance of the camp. You can complain to your daddy when you get there, Floater. Tell him I beat you. Go back to your seat. Any volunteers? All right. My dear Renat, it's this simple. Irina here received a brilliant education, has an excellent knowledge of English, and she even used to write articles for a fashion magazine. <laughs> See? She's a talented person. So we'll need something like, uh, uh, full employee benefits. And a flexible timetable in the salary. Competitive. Doable. Right, Irina? I'd be honored <laughs> if that was the case. Well-educated people with a good command of language are always welcome here. But she's been unemployed for a while. No, 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 Renat, I promise it's not going to be an issue here. All of you have gone sour here, Renat. Sour, I tell you. Why not bring in a fresh perspective into your staff to bring it to life? <laughs> and voila. <laughs> Maybe. I'll give it some thought. Is it true that your husband's being promoted to the capital? <laughs> Maybe. I heard it was on a table. A pity. I wanted to discuss something. It's about the land allotments, you see. There are some contracts that we... Mm. Excuse me, could you leave us for five minutes? Yes, of course, excuse me. Come here. 
I'm so happy you came to visit. <laughs> now why wouldn't I visit you here? So tell me, how's your time here? It's so boring here. Can we go mm, home? Home. We'll go, but not right now, so wait. Where's mom? Did she come with you to visit? Your mom's busy. She couldn't come. I'm sure she will soon enough. I wish she was here since I miss her. But why don't you take a look at who's with me instead? This is Valeria. She'll be having classes with you. What kind? You can tell me the kinds that you like. Nice to meet you. Uh, Valeria here is a uh, professional. I'll take it from here. Uh, Jesus. I'd like to talk to your son for a while. Now is a good time to get started. <sighs> so I'll leave you with her for now. Mr. Palagin, why don't we walk around and see the camp? You've already paid dearly to be here. We might as well make it worth our while. Will you give us a tour? Oh, with pleasure. With pleasure. This way. Please follow me. Right. This venture wouldn't have been possible without your help, Mr. Palagin. So I'd be honored to show you around. Come this way, please. This way. You know, I love these cookies. I love them a lot. I can eat a lot of these at any given time. You want to try it? Yes, please. Here you go. There. I bet I can chew louder than you. I can beat you. No, but I'm louder. Can you tell me what type of mammals you like? Turtles like that one. So it's turtles. Hmm. But turtles are reptiles. What about your favorite mammal? Then I like bears. All right, bears then. Have you made any friends during your stay here at the camp? No, I haven't yet. Hmm. That's all right. But Vey, I want to talk to you about something, all right? Uh -huh. okay. What a cheap skate. He asks for 49 acres just like that, as if we own all the land here. Oh, and by the way, as you can see, that bastard's not willing to pay you. So you'll have to make do with what you have for now. Who knows, maybe Igor will give you something, right? So what was that back there? I still have no idea what happened. Does it matter? They'll call you to explain anyway. Have you noticed? <laughs> All the girls that work at the ministry are only beautiful young ladies, and it's worse the higher you go. <laughs> you want to know why? Why is that? It's actually very simple. They all think they're lions. So they surround themselves with the pride of beautiful young <laughs> girls. You see? The higher that you look, the hotter the women. It's all just status. <laughs> so what am I then? Just another trophy? That all depends on yourself. Just twist them around your little finger and you'll be fine. <laughs> you think my husband became mayor just because his brother helped him? <laughs> yes. And let's pretend I never said that last sentence just now. Do you have an idea when I'm going to start here? They'll call you and tell you everything, Irina. Spare me all this nonsense and negativity, okay? The only thing you have to remember is you need to earn money. Or would you rather stay married? No. Let's get going. Let me tell you about this trick. So you can defend yourself whenever you're getting picked on. Really? You'll teach me? Absolutely, of course. Okay. Hit me on my nose. Use your right hand. Your nose? But I... I'll be fine. See? One more time. Do it slower. <laughs> Do you get it? I think so. All right, now it's your turn. Here. You know what to do. You ready? I'm ready. And go. <laughs> Great job. Great job. So, you know what to do now? Right hand. That's right. Right hand. Now you know how to defend yourself. Now I do. Well done. <laughs> now that you know, you're free to go. Play nice. You promise? Of course. Off you go. How's your progress? He doesn't really respect authority. He obeys his father, unquestioned. That doesn't mean you have authority. To make more progress, I'd like to stay here for a while. Can that be arranged? 
You'll have it. A good perfume. Thank you. So tell me, who will he choose? His mother or his father? Mr. Pelagin, don't pressure them into a decision. Uh, considering his timid nature, he's likely to choose the side that I tell him to without a second thought. <sighs> Excuse us. It was an excellent idea to take their cell phones. Yes, but they can still call their parents whenever they want to using the phone in my office. I too would have banned this as well. Let them live like the Spartans of old did in the wild. A few months without computers or smartphones will set these children on the right path. Yes, 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 you're right. Did you hear what he said? Make sure you take note of, of it. Of course, sir, I definitely will. Matvey! <sighs> now listen. From here on out, you listen to her. Is that clear? All right. Mr. Palagin. No, I'm in trouble, too, and it's all because of you and your stupid decisions. Why am I suddenly at fault here? Yeah, love is an infectious <laughs> disease. It's like a chain reaction. Daria, don't tell me. You fell in love. Again? You know who it is? <laughs> no idea it's at all. damn Lyovkin is who. Oh, please, you're probably just You know, I thought that it was going to be once, twice, maybe three times at most, and it would say thanks for the company and thanks for everything. Bye, buddy, I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's not. No, it didn't work out that way. I ended up thinking about him, and I've been losing sleep since I'm constantly <laughs> thinking about him, so I'm wondering, what the hell are we? He's just a fancy lawyer working at a firm. Does it really matter to you what he is and isn't? You're right, it totally doesn't matter. By the way, Andre doesn't plan on working for this company forever. And Lyovkin? Oh, don't get me started. He's definitely got something up his sleeve as well. I'm telling you that Matt is up to something. Do you remember Maxim? He was an instructor and there was nothing serious <laughs> going on between us. <laughs> I ended up firing him, by the way. Maxim? Hmm? That's a pity. He's a good I'm guy. I'm telling you, this love thing is dangerous. Victor's already suspecting me. Imagine, he's suspecting me already. He has <sighs> suspicions on me. <laughs> Daria, you're driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm seeing a psychiatrist. I've had enough of this. I need to get rid of him, which, by the way, is all your fault now. Of course it is. Daria. Huh? Do you know exactly what you're doing here? Yes, to the psychiatrist. But he's not exactly a psychiatrist. He's a... Sexual specialist. <laughs> You're right. What I need is a sexual specialist. Can't you see I'm shivering? I already have a fever. Even my pulse is accelerated. Daria, you don't have a fever. You're just getting the jitter. You sure? You scare me. Yeah. I'm also scared of me. Hey, tell me something. Isn't this whole thing insane? <laughs> I am a strong woman, independent, confident, serious, and married already, so I can do this. Am I right? And what about you? I'm serious about what I feel. I don't want to treat it. <laughs> but I do. Go on, then. I'll be waiting for you out here. Okay. I'm off. That's it. What would you recommend me, Dr. Anatoly? Daria. It is my belief that you understand everything that's happening. Now it's better you stay with your family. A family is important, a foundation needed by every human being. Right. So, instead of avoiding your ex on purpose, you can just simply meet up with him and act like you normally do. I'm sure if you looked hard enough, you'll find that everyone has their flaws. No one's perfect, after all, not even celebrities. Yes, that's true. Even me. Allow me to offer you some special advice. This is tried and tested. Mm -hmm. What you tell him, this doesn't have to be true, mm. is that you want a baby. Now, what this will do is reveal the truth, because men reveal their true intentions when they hear the sentence immediately. It's the ultimate litmus test. Mm. That totally makes sense. I completely agree, Dr. Anatoly, to be honest with you. I wanted to try that line, but I wasn't sure. You gave me the confidence, so I'll follow your advice. Can I go now? I just can't relax whenever I'm in hospitals, so you get it, I'm sure. I'd better go. Uh, uh, at least let me walk you out. Please, I would like that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming. 
It would be a pleasure to have you come by oh, our yes, office. Oh, yes, of course. Tomorrow. Sure. Oh, Irina, it's lovely to see you. Uh, hello there. Uh, it's been a while since your last visit. Why, yes, it has. Why haven't you dropped by since then? Uh, <laughs> but why should I? Well, as your doctor, I can see that you're quite nervous. That's my professional opinion, so take that as you will. Since when have I become your regular patient? I still insist on my observations. It's clear as day to me. You keep saying these things as if you're trying to diagnose me with something like an emotional disorder. <laughs> I have all I need for an accurate diagnosis. Anyone can see it. <laughs> and there it is again. Another fit of hysterics. <laughs> Dr. Anatoly, are you sure you're okay? Any compulsive thoughts or maybe you wake up screaming some nights? Anything else? Go on, yes. I still recommend that you see us next week. Believe me, this is for your own good. I think I'll pass, thank you. <laughs> oh, and I'm following the advice he just gave me. I'm interested to see where that will take me. <laughs> Hang on, why do you keep insisting on something like that to me? Honestly, I think he's insane. Did you notice his nose when he looked at us? <laughs> it kept really? flaring while we had that entire conversation with him. <laughs> Pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Elena, these are the reports and data regarding Irina Pelagin. Here. Encode these in the computer. Let me know as soon as you're finished. With a case such as this one, we'll have to intervene medically. Will we treat her as an inpatient? If it comes to it, yes. What do you see? This is a tree or a cloud. It's like a cloud in the sunlight. Mm-hmm. And this one? This one looks like a, a house. <laughs> what can you tell me about this picture? This looks like a very angry dog. <sighs> very well, then. Everything's clear to me. Hmm? You're like this turtle here. See? You're uh, hiding inside yourself. Do you have friends? Not. Maybe a few, right? But you also don't have enemies. Although, someone is really bothering you lately. How did you know all that? I know everything. Some may think that you're just a little boy. Hmm? Just a mama's boy. Someone who has never made a decision. Whatever you're told, you just do without question. Matvey, you only need to listen to the people that you trust. You have to learn this. But I'm not a mama's boy, I'm just... All right, then prove it. You have to be independent. For instance, here's a situation. <clears throat> For example, your mom and dad are getting divorced. Do you know what a divorce is? Divorce is a usual thing. Half of the students in my class have divorced parents. Well, you see, you need to choose between the two of them. Now listen to me. Your mom wants to leave. And your dad wants to stay. Your dad wants to stay with you, not your mom. She's leaving you both. Your sister and you. Who will you stay with? But why is mom leaving us? Maybe she got tired of the two of you. Is there a chance that both of them stays? No. No, Matvey. It doesn't work like that. Now listen. Tell me, do you have someone who is trying to disturb your life right now? Yes, I do. Does this someone have a name then? His name is Sergei. So it's Sergei. Listen, you have to do all you can so that this Sergei won't disturb you moving forward. Like killing him? <laughs> Nothing like that. Punish to the extent that you can so that he understands that he can continue to have influence over you and that you can decide for yourself. Is that clear? But I don't know how. I can tell you if you want to. Please tell me. All right. Come on.
you're here. It's so peaceful here. Mm -hmm. Someone's calling us. Is it yours? Oh, here it is. It's mm -hmm. mine. Right, it's from the office. I have to take this call. Yes? Mm. What? L listen, if they want to, let them check the older documents we have there on file. Listen, I, I won't be I won't be available today or tomorrow. All right, okay. Take care. Mm-hmm. Hello, my love. Call me back as soon as you get this message I left you, all right? Oh, that's right. I'm worried about you. There. I switched off my phone. Someone's out there watching the two of us. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Toad, do you think so? Really? <laughs> Who would come here to watch us? Rabbits? <laughs> Let them. I don't really mind. As long as I'm with you. So what do you eat here as food? Just food. <laughs> Why isn't mom with you? As I told you earlier, I'm here due to business. Thank you. Though I did bring someone with me. Don't look at me like that. It's not what you think. She's a psychologist. She just wishes to speak with the two of you. Are the two of you finally getting a divorce? It's more like your mother has decided to quit on our marriage. You don't look surprised. Why should I? You know, Dad, um, it's been a long time since Mom loved you. <laughs> what makes you say that? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> so in the end, she... never had affection for me in the first place? Maybe she did before. Maybe when you got married? But I'm not so sure. <laughs> and later? She definitely didn't. <laughs> you... You sure have grown up, haven't you? And it makes me proud. <laughs> you know, it's normal for my age. <laughs> has she already met someone new? <sighs> The guy you were punching? My friend showed me that video of you in a fight. <laughs> I know you'll figure it out, so I don't need to see a psychologist. Don't worry, I'm not harming myself. Maria, stop with this nonsense. She's also with child services, aside from being a psychologist. It's a necessary formality. So you're taking this to court? Most likely. That's great. Maybe that's the best time to do something. Or maybe you'll we'll ship Matt Vey and I off to Australia. To Australia? Uh, you're serious? No, I was just kidding. Well, I can. I have to go. I've been trying to reach them for several days now. Hmm? I can't get through to either of my kids. Maybe there's no signal. I don't think so. I think it's fine. Mm. I keep calling their phones, but no one picks up. It's like they don't have them. All right. Ah, it's Lyovkin. Yes, yes, are you here? Ah, uh, all right, all right. Can Alexei even help? Not sure.
can I use my telephone? Latve, you're not allowed to use your phone in the campus we've agreed before, so I can't do that. Everyone else will start asking for their phone. Excuse me, can I use your telephone? <laughs> what for? I just wanted to talk to my mom. It's urgent. Uh, Matvey, have you already decided what to say? I haven't decided anything. I just want to talk to her today. Matvey, you can't just call her out of the blue. She'll want to know who you'll pick. She'll ask you, are you ready for that? No? Prove to me that you've grown up. Go on. Matve. Don't you see? You haven't decided yet. So you'd better think about this. Okay? All right. <laughs> now go play. Of course, I'm on it. Coming right up. Yeah? What? Don't agree to anything they have to offer. That's our game plan. Just keep answering evasively for now, all right? Pretend that you're mute if you have to. Good, all right, bye. What's up, what's up? Hello, hello. I know you're here to relax, so I'm sorry for being here in the first place. Uh, would you mind if I take your dashing lover for a few minutes of discussion? There's just this crisis and we gotta take care of it first. Okay. I'll be back soon. Whoa. I'll miss you. You really will? I will. Me too. <laughs> Read it. Reaction sleep. All right. Seriously? They froze all our accounts? Yes, everything. Corporate and personal. We won't be able to make transactions. Nothing. Yes, Daria, hello? No, I'm not home. Where are you? In the countryside. Zayachi Apollyana. What are you doing in that dump? It's calm and quiet here. Are you alone there with Gavryushov? Yes, I'm here with him, along with Lyovkin. Lyovkin? Yes, Lyovkin. What is he doing there? Well, they're talking about something serious, so... It looks like they're trying to resolve it. Do we have contingency offshore accounts for this? What offshore accounts? They cornered us. They have a term for this, one they use in the world of chess. It's called Zugzhuang. <laughs> what is this Zugzhuang? It's true. When it's too late to do anything, it's pointless to struggle. Our only move is to give up. <laughs> what the hell's so funny? Huh? There was a time <laughs> that I'd be mad about this situation we find ourselves in. So now... Now it's as if I... <sighs> but of course. Those in love never notice anything, do they? Come on, what's our plan? What's next? There is one other option. Which is? To ask Daria. To talk to her husband and see if he'd help us. And if it doesn't work? Well, then that's it. You should come. <laughs> Daria! <laughs> Victor's gone. He, he went fishing with his friends today. Yeah, I think. Wait for me there. I'm coming. <laughs> yes, my darling. Hello, my love. How was your trip so far? Yeah, it's fine. We're, uh, already fishing. Well, I'm just calling so I know if I should wait for you in the morning so I can make you breakfast. Uh, sure. Make something nice, like sausages. Okay, I love you. I love you too, honey. 
Bye. I'll see you. Zarya. Are you kidding me? Do you Zarya. understand that I'm here to talk about something entirely different, and especially not to walk on this wet grass? I didn't come all the way out here for this, do you understand me? Do you know exactly what you're asking me to do? Which is... You want me to ask my husband to help the lover of his brother's wife. How do you expect me to do that, huh? <sighs> What's all this? Come on. I'm just showing you the, uh, the landscape so And I'm you... telling you, I'm not telling anyone. Do you even know why I'm here? <laughs> all right then, let's hear what the reason is. Why else would you be here but for me? <laughs> I've missed you so much, you know. <laughs> but wait, the reason why I came here is... I'm here to tell you that... There will be no us anymore. Yeah, just like that. That's it. So you've driven what? 25 miles? 22 just miles. To whatever it is. Isn't this something you could have told me on the no, phone? No, this isn't something I could say over the phone. <laughs> Do you know why? Why? It's because I... respect you... so much. Lyovkin. And you know what? It's only with you that I'm... giddy like a teen. <laughs> I don't really care about labels, just so you know. Mm -hmm. But what if I suddenly go steady, huh? That doesn't sound too bad. Why don't we do it? <laughs> for real? Yes, for real. I was just joking, no, 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 but no, no, now no. I'm serious. All right. I want to have a child with you, Lyovkin. Daria, I... Daria, I just... I... I, uh... Certainly didn't expect that. What is it now? You should see the look on your face, Lyovkin. Now I know everything I needed. Now everything falls into place. What do you mean? You know what? I'll give it to you straight. Your haircut is stupid. It's ugly. And the way you dress? Idiotic. Idiotic, huh? Yep. So we're breaking up, aren't we? Yes, that's correct. All right, but before that, I... Let me hold you in my arms for the last time, Daria. Hmm? Let me kiss you, just once, right here. Right here. No. There. And here. Lyovkin, please here. stop it. And here. <laughs> Everyone can see us, and it's too wet out here. Hmm? Let's go there. The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please call back later. The subscriber is currently... The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please... You're dirty all over. Look at me. Huh? <laughs> That's it, I promise. Come on, hurry up. Well, to be honest, I don't know how to deal with her. You know, she's smart for her age Well, group. we'll see. Mr. Palagin, let's leave this to the experts, shall we? Maria! Yes, Dad? Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. This is Valeria. She's the, uh... We have to go see the, uh, director, right? Right. I'll be back. Maria. So you're here to ask me if I'm having any suicidal thoughts. Or maybe if I see a horse. Or if I fantasize about something. You're a perceptive girl, aren't you? Where did you learn this stuff? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask you anything. Why not? My job is to give an opinion about the general capacity of a child or teenager to draw conclusions. Whether their conclusions can be taken into account when it comes to making some decisions. Please tell me then, how exactly do you make your assessment? Normally, I gauge the willingness to communicate with other people and other associated skills. So you're saying I'm bad at communicating? You know better. Can I leave? Go ahead.
Hold it. Hello. Why are you back so early? I was at the center. The equipment we ordered got stuck at the sorting warehouse. It ended up becoming a huge mess. <laughs> they ended up dumping the equipment on the railroad tracks. It was a madhouse, so I had to go there myself to try fix the problem. That's how it went. That's it. Look me in the eye. Hmm? <laughs> Daria? My Daria? This is what I ask you to do. It's not the signatory for this document. Excuse me, I've been sitting out there all morning and no one has really explained to me what my job is all about, so I was thinking that maybe you could tell me what to do. This conversation never leaves this room, clear? Yes, of course. Thing is, due to circumstances, I can't hire you anymore. As everyone in this establishment is, one way or another, connected to your husband. To avoid unnecessary conflict? Yes, we have rules we need to follow. I understand. <laughs> but this I promise you. Once you're fine, I will personally welcome you back here with open arms. It's a shame, really. I was really looking forward Don't to working with you. Don't worry about it. Oh. You can't help it, right? There is one more thing I'll ask of you. Please tell Daria that you decided on your own. Uh, she might end up feeling bad, you Don't see. Don't worry, I will. Please tell her I've done everything I could. Of course. Excuse me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, hello? Hello? You know, Irina, I've been thinking. I'm fed up with this. I'm done lying. You managed, but I can't do it. I just want to live with the man I love, and I want to stop pretending already, because it's just too much. We're all liars, Irina. Everyone's lying to each other, like when we say one thing, but we really mean the other, so there's no one we can trust. Actually, I'm seeing a doctor. The psychiatrist? What psychiatrist? I'm seeing a dentist. I'll tell you what happened later. <laughs> yes, hello? Hello? Good afternoon. I'm Matvey's mother. He's enrolled in your camp for the summer. Uh, can I have your family name, please? Oh, it's Balagin. Ah. Uh, let me, uh, go get Matvey. I won't be long. Or you could call back in a few minutes from now. No, no, I can wait. All right, then. Please wait. One moment, one moment. Come on. Hello, Mom. Hello, honey. How are you? I've been worried sick about you. I'm okay. When are you coming here? I will be there soon. But when? Well, maybe in a few days or something, I promise. Uh, why do you ask? Well, I was just curious. Okay, Mom, I have to go now. All right. Bye. Uh, Maria, I have to get back to work. Valeria will be staying here for now. She'll be at Matvey's camp, but she will come and see you here, so I hope you don't mind. Yes, Mom. Hello, Maria, honey. Why weren't you answering my calls? I've been calling for days now. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. Just deciding if I'm going to Australia or New Zealand soon. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, Wait, I'm just deciding Maria, what hello? to do once you're divorced. Your father's with you? Yes, he's here. Hello, Irina. He's standing right beside me. He's alone? No, he came with some psychiatrist. With That's who? enough. He might be using her to get us to turn against you. Wait, hello? Hello. Disgusting. Hello. What the hell is going on over there? Explain yourself. Nothing is going on. Is it really nothing? Don't worry, they're both fine. They're both doing well here. <laughs> it's all good. Then I'm coming to see them. There's no need to. Besides that, well, 
Wouldn't be asking too much of you, right? What about you? I'm here on business. I have associates here. I was already in the area, so I simply decided to drop by. Then I'm going there anyway. I already promised Makvei. I have this feeling that something's wrong since they weren't answering my calls for several days now, so be honest with me. What Australia? What was Maria talking about? Yes, a summer in Australia, which I'll pay for. That's it, I'm coming. There's no need for you to. I'm telling you, they're doing fine. I forgive you. You should get going. Boris, do we have connections at the airport? We have few. Make sure that she never gets to board a plane for a year. Better if for good. Now, Valeria. Oh. Your work begins now. Oh. All right. Officer Pranislova, you must be mistaken. We're prepared to cooperate with you. We know there's no point hiding from you, and why complicate things? We admit having these violations as a company, just like everyone. There's no everyone here, just you. Well, of course. We understand that now. We're prepared to take the punishment through administrative proceedings, and we understand that there are fines that must be settled. We know that. Don't be too hasty in saying this will end in an administrative hearing. This is a criminal case with the prospect of imprisonment should you be found guilty. The results will be based on the results of the investigation. My only function is to inform you. Miss Bronislova, I'm begging you. <laughs> Tell me what I need to do here. Help me prepare for what's coming for me. Are you planning to build a criminal case against me, or can we still agree under the terms of a bail that we can Andre. settle? What are you trying to say? This isn't a market. There is no bargaining. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> of course I can make a bargain. And you know this as well as I do. Why are we wasting our time here? Let's just agree. <laughs> It'll be easier for the both of us, wouldn't it, huh? Just imagine the scenario we could be in. You tell me you have violations that can lead to a prison sentence. Don't like it? Pay the fine! Andre. How easy is that? <laughs> we wouldn't be wasting our time running around in circles like this, right? Is your client here currently of sound mind? Are you intoxicated? Have you gone insane? Are you crazy or what? Do you understand what you just did in there? I'm serious this time. Break up with Irina. Why are you even going after a married woman with two children in the first place? Talk to Anastasia. Don't you understand that her father will do everything he can do to destroy you? You've gone completely insane. Do you hear what I'm saying? Of course I hear you. The only time I'm leaving her is when I go to prison. That will be the only reason. You've really lost it. A complete idiot. I'll be going to prison too, you know. Please remember. This isn't your business alone. This is my business too. I've given 10 years of my life for this and look at what you ended up doing. Everything down the drain. All this is just for some woman? <laughs> Alexei. I love Irina. Nothing will keep me away from her. Fine. But at least hear me out. But please don't ruin it. I'm begging you, as your friend. We've taken large loans with no way of paying them back since they froze all of our accounts. I'm telling you, we will lose everything. Everything. My mom can't go back to work anymore. If I go to prison, she'll... Look, from now on, I'll be acting independently of you. Okay? All right. Take care. to talk. Please hurry. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Belagin. Yes? Will you please come with me? 
What's this about? It's nothing. This won't be long. This way, please. Hmm. Lagan. You can have a look. Here's everything in detail. Citizens who have outstanding debts must... Listen to me. I've never taken on any loans. Is this your signature? Yes, it's mine. I've signed some documents of my husband, but... Look, I'll definitely tackle this issue, but now please let me go. The boarding has already started. I don't want to miss my flight. I'm flying to my kids. I beg you, please let Mrs. me go. Mrs. Pelagin, if we were to let you go without a check, then everyone will say, oh, she must have paid off the police and they've taken a bribe again. And that's something we don't really need around here. I'm not going to pay you anything, sorry. Oh, very well then. I mean, that is right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Is everything okay? Good day, sir. Uh, what's going on? Is she being detained? Have you drawn up a report? Hmm. We were just talking, and who are you? I'm her attorney, actually. Well, I don't see any legal basis for keeping her here. Is that her passport there? Mm-hmm. May I? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Thank you. We still have some questions. It's all right. I can answer them in her stead. All right, kids, pack your stuff this way. Spread them out well. The soft stuff, close to your back, so that it won't rub you sore. The essentials on top are in pockets. Is it clear? Yes! I said, is it clear? Yes! If it's clear, who wants to try? Oh, me! 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 Oh, me. Mafe, come on. He doesn't need it. He's not going to carry a bag. His dad will give him a baby bag and a nanny. <laughs> I'll get you for this. But you can't without your nanny. She's not a nanny. She's just, oops. Well done, Matvey. Very good. And diapers. <laughs> Matvey, ignore him. Hey, stop it now, boys. That's enough. Come on, break it up. <sighs> he hurt my hand. If you annoy me again, I'll break it off. <laughs> All right, get back to work. I mean, who wrote these crappy laws anyway? I'm such an idiot. All these years I've been signing papers blindly. Well, he had been pinning credits on me. So what now? Taxi! Where are you going? To the railway station. Railway station? What railway station? Stop, get please. enough. You can't go to the railway. They'll detain you at the border. I'll get you there by car. How will you? I know the roads. I'll get you there. You've signed travel restrictions. You can't cross the border. 
I can drive myself. My dad has a car. My brother has a license. I'll go to my parents. I'll go by car. Margarita, please come to my office. What is it? Listen, I'm leaving for a while. If there's a call from Moscow, don't give them my number. Write everything down, I'll return and call them back. Where are you going, huh? Firstly, we're on formal terms. Secondly, you should address me as Mr. Lokhtov. Victor, I thought we had a relationship. Our work, Margarita, and our relationship are two different things. Right now, we are here to work. So I expect you to work by first answering the darn phone! Victor. I'll tell you for the last time, not Victor. Mr. Loktev. going to... Uh, I'm not going to give you any double talk. I'm going to be frank and honest with you. Your father wants to ruin me. None of us can ever be happy that way. Not you, not me, no one. You are more beautiful than anyone I've ever known. You are perfect in every way. Literally, you're like a goddess. It's different for her and me, Anastasia. You mean it's love? I don't know. Anastasia, Anastasia, wait, listen to me. Try to understand me, please. Can you do that for me? Understand? Yes, I beg you. My dad says the same thing to my mom before he goes off to do a bad thing. Andre, please try to understand me. And just tell me why you've come here. I came to ask for your help. I wouldn't have if things were different. It's difficult, really difficult. Why is it that we have to keep hurting and tormenting each other? Can't we work something out, you and me? Make him stop! Andre, I thought that when you called me, that you would ask me to get back together with you. <laughs> Anastasia, I just need you to make him stop. Please help me. Anastasia, make him stop, please. I'm still on the loose. 
Okay, move to the right. And now back. Um, to the left. Did you just stick out your tongue at me? Shame on you. Hey, you heard me. I didn't hear anything. I told you, right? It's what you call a sixth sense. Come on, you try. Ready? Yes. Now, we'll cover your eyes with this, okay? There. Hang on. Is that okay? That's okay. Ready? I'm ready. Begin. To the right, to the left, to the right again, to the center, right? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. You wanna give up? You wanna give up? Huh? <laughs> All right. We can go to first name, basis. Let's play for flicks. For flicks? Yes. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Come on. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. me. Who, Who will be, be the, the winner? winner? One, two, two three. three. So I lost. Yes, you A did. A flick on my forehead? No way. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. No, no, Madvey. No, no. Help me. <laughs> Guys, help me. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, do you only give consultations to people regarding divorce or do you also hold sessions? Uh huh. No, I just have no experience in this area. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, I just don't want to be left holding the bag here. Husband? Oh, you know, he's such a tough bugger. He'll wade through rough water, I tell you. Okay, I got it. I will have to prepare thoroughly then. Thank you, you'll be patiently waiting for your call. Goodbye. Daria, are you serious about the divorce? No one has ever heard me like that before. Daria, I'm sorry. You were missing the whole night. You didn't tell me anything, so I snapped. And what if it were the other way around and you were the one missing? Where did you spend the night? He won't believe me anyway. Does it hurt? That badly? A bit. You're lucky I didn't kick it in. Daria, where did you spend the night? I went to see Irina last night. She called me and she was begging me to come because divorce is no joke, you know? On top of that, Andre is being put under pressure. They want to take his business. So she asked me to talk to you, hoping that you can intervene somehow or do something about it. What, what can I do? I can't... Uh, uh, I can't go against my own brother. What can I do? What that do you expect me to do? brother of yours has nothing to do with it. Daria, who is Don't it, you dare touch me. It's because of... that... father of his ex-girlfriend who's hurting him. Kormuhin, I think is his name. Ah, Kormuhin, I know him, of course. He's a big influence in our city. Daria, I will certainly tackle it somehow. I swear. All right then, Loktev. Do your thing. All right. Daria, you have my word. Please don't divorce from me. I love you so much. Daria. And I love you too. Even though you're a real pain. Not now. I'm sorry. Miss Valeria, talk to me. Sorry? I don't know what you're supposed to do. Convince me that our parents are good people. Life is not a bed of roses, and I had to understand it. You don't have to say anything. 
Adults say these things to make life easier for themselves. They always say things like, of course, kids do this and kids do that. Just listen and keep out of our way. But what you really need to do is to think of yourself and your future. What do you personally want? Be honest, please. I want a, a house by the seaside, a handsome and a smart man, and do nothing all day. Well, of course, I'm going to work, but later, Hmm. So who do you suppose can make all these nice things happen for you in the future? My dad, I suppose. <laughs> yes, your dad. And that's not because I take his side. I don't care. Even if you're sent to an orphanage, I'm actually just doing my job. I'm miles from nowhere speaking to a girl who doesn't even know what she wants. Do you think I take pleasure in this? You're kind of weird. Why do you say that? You speak with all honesty. Adults do the opposite. Remember, Maria, the most boring thing in life is to be an average person. To rise above it, you have to know what you need, what's important to you, what your interests are, and the rest is nonsense. Where is Anton? No idea. He must be with his friends. Did he say when he'd be back? He promised to return for dinner. <sighs> Tell me what happened. Why do you travel by car? It's faster. But not that fast. You could have lived quietly and calmly. Mom, please. I could have been rotten quietly. So, boys and girls, now we're going to repeat these animal names. Wolf. Wolf! Wolf. Elephant. Uh, yes, Maria. Excuse me, please. Yes, of course. Thank you. I can't so? talk now. Hello, Maria. Why haven't you been answering your phone? What's going on? Tiger. Mom, I don't want Tiger. to speak on the phone. Bird. You'll come anyway. Bird. Let's talk Dog. then. What's up with your voice? Has your dad been telling you something? Oh, nothing really. He's just trying to comfort me and that woman. What woman are you talking about? She's kind of a psychologist. Psychologist again? What does she want? Why is she with you? Hello? You'll find out when you come here, okay? Sorry, I have to okay, go. Okay, now I want to ask you, what is your favorite animal? Maria, what is your favorite animal? Um, my favorite animal is a whale. Something's not right here. Someone is working on my children, some psychologist. And I'm just sitting here. Okay, fine, I'm going there. You're not going alone. That's right. I'll go with her. We'll go together, but in my car. But why in your car, Dad? Because I don't know how to drive your foreign ones. Too complicated for me. Let's get going. Maybe we should take mine. My dear. If anything happens to your car, I won't be able to fix it. As for mine, I can fix it with my eyes closed. So don't you worry. This has rounded the equator thrice, so it'll take you wherever you need to go. And get you back in one piece. Dad, I love you so much. Come on, then. Let's go. Hurry up and get inside. Dad this, dad that. <sighs> Do you know when mom 
mom's gonna come? I have no idea. Are we cool? <laughs> All the guys says I'm cool because my parents are rich and because my dad has built this camp. If I were someone else, I'd have been expelled quickly. I think they're just jealous of you. I do not want them to be jealous. I want them all to be my friends. When my mom comes, I will go to Moscow with her. Your mom may not come very soon. But why not? She probably got other things to do. All right, then I'll go myself. They sent the photos? No, they promised to send them. No photos yet. What floor is it? The fifth. Uh, need to go to the seventh. Hey, do you know the owner of the flat? Andrei Gavryushov. My granny is upstairs. Hmm. Why did he go up the fifth if his granny lives on the seventh? Mm -hmm. <gasps> hey! Wait right there! <laughs> Downstairs! Hello, Mr. Palagin. You've come to visit us? Where's Kovalchuk? Kovalchuk! What? How much have you spent? What do you want? I can't tell you exactly. Give me a straight answer. Hello, uh, Mr. Palagin. Good afternoon. How's it going? Everything all right, I hope? This is not a construction site. It's a mess. Food's awful. Wages are low. There's no qualified workers here. They've hired only gin heads. I asked him why, and he says, no money. You shut your mouth, you idiot! So where is the money, Kovalchuk? Have you buried it in the ground? Sir, as I've reported to you, the prices on materials have risen three times. There's nothing I can do. Should I be worrying about that? Go look for it in there! <laughs> Start it up! No, wait! No, Mr. Verlagen! Mr. Verlagen! Don't do this! This is murder, Mr. Balagan! I'm begging you! It will be an accident at the construction site. Mr. Balagan! No! Oh, please! Please! No! Please! Please, Mr. Balagan! Don't! Oh. I'll return it! I'll return everything! Of course you will, you maggot! You see? Slime ball! Now pull him up. Get to it. Get a wire rope. Come here, you. Have you been here for a long time? Long enough. Yeah, I lined up at the construction guild and got a job here. There was no job in my field, so I'm carrying timber. This clown will carry the timbers, and you'll take his place. He's a good guy. Come on, hire him. Let's go, Boris. Anastasia, hello. Have... have you talked to your father? Of course. What's up? Where are you? Ah, that's it. 
Yeah, I get it. No, 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 it's all right. Are you crazy? What do you think of me? I got it, Anastasia. Where, where am I? To be honest, I'd rather not tell you. Bye. I already told you, Andre. Don't ever trust women. It used to be easy pickings for us. You'd receive an order and we'd have time to prepare. And now? If you go to prison, what are we gonna do? I get it. You get it. Anastasia saw a chance for revenge. So instead of helping me, she decided to get even. So what now, huh? Don't you understand anything, huh? Why are you still here then? Go to Germany or the UK, huh? The UK is not an option. I need to go to Belarus to help Irina. To where? To Belarus? What about your travel restrictions? Great thinking. Damn it all, I'm sick and tired of this. I'll sell all my shares and leave. To Thailand or somewhere. I'll live there. Make love to Thai girls. Walk on the beach naked. Where are you going? With you. Can't let you go alone. Victor. What? Vic. It's for you. Can't they give me a come break? On, come I'm on, the boss. Can't I spend a day with my wife? Just answer the phone. Yes, hello. Oh, uh, sure. No problem. Sure, I can. Yes, right now. Daria, they've called from the center. There must be a positive decision. Oh, really? Uh, I'll put that down! <laughs> Daria, stop it! Enough! Daria, give me that! Give it! Daria, wait! Stop! Time out! That's it! No time! Ah! Shoot! I tripped! Uh, uh. Victor, don't uh. forget to put on the suit that we bought in Italy! Uh, all right. <laughs> Dang, I hurt my foot. Yuri, good afternoon. My name is Andre. We think it would be safer for Irina to ride with us. Your car is very good indeed, but my friend and I will make sure to take Irina across the border and get her back safe and sound. So you're Andre. I trust you. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Andre, it's dangerous. You can't go. Irina, don't worry. We'll be but fine. Andre. Get your stuff. Promise me, you'll take care of her. You take care, Dad. Bye. Have a safe journey. They're not answering. So what's her story going to be? Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> I'm serious. Maybe some racing competition, international one. But we don't have sports cars. But we're sportsmen anyway. Yes, especially me, a real racer. You're my co-driver. <laughs> me? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Thanks for everything.
All right. <laughs> what a nice suit we've bought for you in Italy, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> isn't it tight? No, it isn't. Just lose some weight. You're young, handsome. You're gonna be a president, you'll see. How can I quit on such a man? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Naria, tell me, what about Irina and my brother Igor? As bad as can be. How about... What about the kids? I don't understand it. Hitting a raw nerve? Well, I was surprised. She has always been a true angel. Why are you looking at me like that, Victor? Here we go again? Comparing her to me? I know I'm not an angel. I am what I am, exposed to everyone. I have no secrets and like someone. Daria, don't quit on me. Victor, no one quits on men like you. Daria. <laughs> Mr. Pelagin, Matvey was in the camp at breakfast. He was eating well, enjoying his meal. Later he attended class as trainings and then, then we couldn't find him. He, he somehow slipped away. It was just an oversight, sir. We'll surely find Matvey. Please, don't worry, we're on it. You're darn right, because it's you who needs to worry. And God forbid, if anything happens to my son, I will personally break your knees yes, with a baseball yes. bat. Better start searching right away. Yes, of course. Hello. Palagin's son is missing from the summer camp, Barbino. Yes, yes, Mr. Palagin's son. Follow standard search procedure. Forest roads, railway stations. Why did we take this turn? Don't worry, I'll be back in a sec. What's up? The border is 6.2 miles from here. And? We won't pass the checkpoint. Do you remember we drove through here five years ago? There's a fjord in 1.2 so? miles. If we cross it, we're good from there. What? Are you serious? This is an illegal border crossing. Article 322 of the criminal code is still in effect. What crossing do you mean? We just lost our way in the forest. Lost our way? Yes, we were picking mushrooms. What's the problem? Mushrooms? You can still go to prison for that. Fine. It's not the first time I heard that threat. Are you with us? Do I really have a choice? Let's get a move on. Listen, guys, Matvey Balagin is missing. So I want you all to start looking around the whole camp for him. Go check the utility areas. Please stay close to the adults, and by no means should you go far into the woods. Is that clear? Yes! We'll spread out across the whole camp territory, starting with this area here. Understood? Yes! Let's go. Over there. Follow if you find me. anything, immediately report to me. Is that clear? All right. You said we understood each other perfectly. How can you explain this from a professional point of view, Valeria? Let's do without the sarcasm, Mr. Polakin. But of course, I can explain this professionally. If you think that you can change the boy completely in a couple of days, that's being unrealistic. It's a lot of hard work. One step forward, two it steps back. It is not back. just two steps back. It's a betrayal of trust. Maybe he ran over to Maria's camp? It's 1.2 miles away. We went there together on foot. Uh, what if he didn't? Maybe we should go to the police. No, we will not. <laughs> no police. Let's go. Should I come with you? Of course. Stop, wait! 
Damn it. It's stuck. Get in, I'll push you. All right. Come on. The wheels aren't touching bottom. This sucks. What are we gonna do? Push it. Just stay in the car. Let me help you. No problem. Problem. Come on. One more time. Come on, step on it! Has Matvei talked to you? No. Or called you? No. We don't talk at home, much less on the phone. My goodness. You are older, so you should know better. I'm so tired of being better. I will run away to or leave with Mom. What do you mean, leave with Mom? <sighs> she called on her way here. When did she? Today. Well then, did Matvei know his mom was coming? No, I told him that she's too busy to come. He told me to say so if ever he would ask. I have no idea. I've got her locked down from every direction. <sighs> That's it. I'm gonna call the police, so alert them. That's my decision. Call them! <sighs> you did not take the wheel. Yes, Be yes. Careful. Yes, good afternoon. Yes, of course, I understand, but I'm afraid... I'm afraid I won't make it in time today. Mr. Gavrizhov, what are you talking about? You've signed travel restrictions. You must come at my call and be con. I'm afraid that I won't make it today. I'm outside Moscow. You're not allowed. No, no, I'm in Zelenograd. It's a part of Moscow, so I'm not breaking the law. I'm in a traffic jam. Yes. Okay. I'll reset it tomorrow morning. Be here at 9 a.m. sharp. It's a deal. Thank you. I appreciate it. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Come on. Floor it! Come, come on! on! Come on! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's moving! That's working! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. <laughs> 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 oh gosh. <laughs> the phone. The phone, the phone. Hello? Any good news for me? Yes, I'm coming. To Belarus, I'm almost there. It doesn't matter. You'd better explain why I was banned at the airport. Was it because of you? What do you mean? Missing? How? Where has he gone? Hello? Who's missing? Oh my goodness. Who's missing? My face gone. What happened? What happened? I Get don't it. know. Come on. Hello? Let's go. One ticket to Moscow, please. To Moscow? Are your parents with you? Please, I just really need to go home. All right, wait a minute. Stay here, please. Hello, ma'am. Please come to the ticket office. A child seems to be lost. Do you need to go to Moscow? Do your mom and dad know about it? No.
Alexei, we're approaching the border. Seems like we're being followed. It's unmarked. I don't recognize them. These two are coming for us. What are we gonna do? They don't look like our friends for sure, so come on. We can't afford to get stuck here. Did you get that? That's it. Stop here. Just sit quietly. I'll talk to them. If anything goes wrong, leave immediately, understand? Is it bad? Best it'll cost us a sum. What about the worst? We need to understand who they are. Gentlemen, how can I help you? You crossed the border of the Russian Federation. You're in the catch lab. Why did you bypass the checkpoint? How is that possible? I thought I was still far from the border. Where exactly are you from? Why are you using a radio set? We're Russians. Radio sets are definitely legal. Who am I talking to? Show me your documents. Oh, of course, sir. Here are my documents. Please take note that I didn't refuse to show you the documents. My friends and I made a wrong turn, and we wanted to take a shortcut, but instead we got lost. Now it's your turn. Get in the car. How about you show your documents, huh? How should I address you? What are your ranks? Your uniforms are unmarked. Who are you? I demand you tell me. That's no concern of yours. Now what get do you back. Mean? Why are you pushing me? Get you in the car. Do as I say. Hey, come on, I'll put you time. in the trunk. Keep your hands off me. Show me your documents.
It's all right here, Mr. Lokdev. You can see if you take a look at this map, all the transport problems we face. I heard, though, that in your town, you nearly solved this problem. Uh, yes, we have. Take a seat, Thank please. Thank you. The first thing I did was to get rid of all the fixed route taxis. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, we bought 20 new buses. This made the locals very happy. Then I made all the mayor's administration ride bikes. And for a month, all the officials were riding bikes to get to work. <laughs> it actually made them healthier, too. Well, that is interesting. So, at first, you are going to be responsible for transport. Mr. Lokdev, who would you recommend for your previous position? I don't know. There's the official election to come. Of course, of course. So I'd like to choose someone who'll be elected. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead, answer. My wife. Hello, honey. I'm at work. I can't talk right now. J just send the size by text. <laughs> I love you. She's worried about me. <laughs> I see. It seems like everything's good in your family. Oh, it's wonderful. Whereas Mr. Palagin has some problems. By the way, do you happen to know how things stand? Uh, more or less fine. Don't worry, it'll be all right, I promise. God bless them, God bless them. Okay, then. I'll see you again. Thank Goodbye. you. Get your feet from under the table, and I'll Thank be you. seeing you. Goodbye. Is there anything else? I uh, yeah, have a personal question to you, but it can wait until next no, time. No, you may ask now, you may ask now. Do you know a person whose surname is Kormukin? Kormukin? I suppose I do. Strange things are happening in our city as of late. There's a man called Gavryushov, a young guy, racer, competition winner, our honor, our symbol, a model citizen of our city. But then this Kormukin is pressuring him. This Kormukin has no relation to the security ministries. He's not our man, Mr. Lokdev, he's not. It's hard to communicate with him. It's nearly impossible. Although, if you'll become a member of our team, we'll come up with something. By the way, now we are focusing on supporting small businesses, so to say. We need to help good people so that these good people will in turn help us someday, right? Right. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. It's simple math. That's right. Sherpakov scald. You're saying it as if the whole country knows this Sherpakov. The whole country, in fact, knows this Sherpakov. To put it in simple terms, your Andre just happens to be a man with good connections. Has he petitioned for him? He won't petition for anyone. This is the same as passing the ball to a foreign defender. But he asked about it. He kind of hinted at it earlier. Um, he hoped that maybe we wouldn't escalate it. But that's exactly what I was planning to do. Exactly to escalate. So he'd go mad. Bastard. Maybe we should stop. Maybe... Leave him in peace. <laughs> Let him live. Sure. Let him live. Get married. Have children. A lot. He'll regret it, of course. 
But if he spends five years in jail, he'll think hard about it. So what now? I don't know what. That's enough. You're drunk. Hey, can't you keep it down? I would like to make a call. You're not in a call center. You're inside a detention center. Now get back to your bed. Rise and shine, your daddy's here now. He's waiting in the hall.
Don't like it? Hmm? Can I have them then? Halagina, come with me. Mr. Palagin will hire a new pediatric psychologist because of what happened. And do you know this for a fact? No. Though I've seen this before. It takes just one failure and then, well, you're fired. This isn't about Mr. Palagin. He'd sooner reprimand and fix your mistake than choose to turn his back. But there's nothing for me to fix. The boy didn't run away because of a mistake I made. His parents can't be honest with him. And that... That makes him nervous. Well, that's familiar. There was this show, it's about a baby mammoth that's looking for its mother. I know. Speaking of, it's actually good. From a psychotherapeutic point mm -hmm. of view, I mean. You see... Well, they're mammoths. The mother's dead. The kid won't find her. We show the cartoon to kids. They have a lot to learn from. Well, that's quite peculiar. Yes, it is. But it helps. Well, good morning, Matvey. Good morning, Dad. I won't go back to the camp. I won't insist. Wanna go? Back home? Boris, we're all flying home today. Roger that. We're going home today? That's right. Does Mother know? Is she waiting? She's at home. Mm, but we should just keep it a surprise. Okay, Dad. Eat. Did he forget about the upcoming divorce? No. He just doesn't want to think about it. Children are good at that. Yeah, that's a fair point. As the law dictates, you may be prosecuted for your illegal attempt to cross the border. If you're guilty, your sentence will range from a grave penalty up to a prison term. Do you understand what I said, ma'am? Am I allowed to make a phone call? Well, you are, but under supervision. Come here, Boris. Yes? Igor, is that you? What happened to Matvey? Uh, he's all right. He's here with me. <sighs> I'm at the police station. Really? What are you doing there? Listen, we both know I'm not that senseless. It's pretty obvious who orchestrated all this nonsense and on whose whims depend what'll happen next. So let me ask you something. How would you benefit from all of Sit this? Sit down. Tell me what you really want. Well, nothing from you. But I'd appreciate it if you let me have the kids after the divorce. <laughs> Is this how you will take the kids from their own mother? By using threats? I'm not making threats. Why not think about it this way? I will secure their education and well-being. And you, you don't even have what it takes to take care of yourself. Well, I have a different proposition. I will come back home with you. You think that would be acceptable? And what about your other relationship? I already said I'm getting back together with you. What else do you want? I'll think about it. And how long will that take? About as long as I need to think about it. Come on.
Boris. Make an arrangement. Mm -hmm. Release her in less than a couple of days. Then you will take her to the airport. Make sure she doesn't visit Maria. Okay, but I thought we'd get her out of there in two weeks' time. Leave it at that. She understands. Two weeks is a lot. We don't want the headline saying, Palagin's wife is in prison, do we? <laughs> Mr. Palagin, when I was a kid, I was picked on a lot. It wasn't anything serious. You know how boys are, of course. But then one time they surrounded me and they tried to beat me up. So I broke their bones with a crowbar and their heads. <laughs> it's my greatest memory. <laughs> that is a good story. Don't force a cat into a corner or you'll invoke a dragon's wrath. She knows that now. Hey there. Stop crying. This is all your fault. You could have used your pretty face on the cops, you know? Back when I was at around your age, I was good at seducing those cops. Try telling them, I'll do whatever you want. But you'll have to let me go first. Get it? I won't sell my body to those bastards. <laughs> Stop crying. That wasn't what I meant. Lie to them. That's all there is. It's that easy. It's not like they don't do that to us. We're just getting back at them. Do you see what they did to us? Our lives are now in ruins because of those idiots. You should be smarter. Just think about it. There's no use in crying. Use your head and then your body. Yeah. <clears throat> know that story for the kids? That one goldfish said, I should let them think that I'm delicious. Hmm? It's Pushkin. He never said that. Well, you're Pushkin. He should try living in our shoes. Good to see you, Mrs. Lokteva. Hello there. What are you doing here? Well, I just want to talk with you. And I would like to stay too busy to talk. Just a minute. Then speak with the administrator. Svetlana, give me everything about this last Madam. quarter's club visitations. Come on, Maxim. This area is only for clients and employees. Don't make any trouble. <laughs> oh, come on. How are you? I'm fine. I'd like to have a pass. I want to work out. Can't do that. I don't see what's wrong. I'm just a paying customer. Give me a pass. Maxim, I know what you're here for. I'll ask Mrs. Luktiva first. Very well, but don't keep me waiting. He has business here? Or maybe you forgot that you're already fired. This place is a private facility, which means it's up to me who goes in and who doesn't. Is that clear? Now get out. Don't let this happen again. I'll fire you. But I thought he, um... Damn it, Daria! Just make your point quick. Did you come here to beg for money? I could give you some change if that That's would bring me... That's not it. Hear me out. I... I don't want your money. I'm hurting, you know? Way more than I thought I so would. So what's the problem now? Nobody wants to hire you or nobody's in your bed? Come on, my chest hurts, you know that? From the inside. I went to a doctor, but he didn't see anything wrong with me. Maxim, just get to the point already, but don't ask me to take you back because I won't. It's not about work, Darya. I have feelings for you, I love you. <laughs> yeah, I've seen what kind of person you are, and I think that <laughs> I just can't help it. I understand, <laughs> I understand what you mean. You just can't help but think of my pretty face at every waking moment, right? Yes. <laughs> and there's nothing that you can do about it, am I right? I even drowned myself in alcohol. <laughs> I feel the same. Yes, I feel the same. With me? No, with a friend of mine. And no, there's nothing I can do about your feelings. Sorry about that. Okay. What should I do then? <sighs> just wait. And you'll get over it. As for our colleague's request, you're free to go home now. What about Lyovkin? 
What about Lyovkin? He'll be here a while. He lectured us yesterday about criminal law theory. Let him stay here and practice his philosophy. And Irina? Who's this Irina? Irina Palagin, you know her. I was sent here together with a woman. Well, you were taken here together, but your cases are still separate. Take him away. When's mommy coming home? Hey, Dad, does this mean that you changed your mind about the divorce? <laughs> Mom's gonna be a little late. Oh, Mr. Palagin. That can wait. I love our house, but I forgot my phone back in the camp. We'll buy you a new one. <laughs> Go upstairs, play whatever you want. Okay. Matvey, you have an hour, then we'll eat. Okay. Nina? Yes? A cup of coffee, please. Okay, sir. Irina, it's good to see you well. Hello, Boris. Mr. Palagin did everything that he could to release you as soon as possible, but they had a lot of formalities. Where to, Boris? The airport. Good enough. I need to go to Belarus. I have urgent business there. Irina, it is in my position to tell you this, but please don't take this the wrong way. You think it would be wise for you not to behave the way your husband intended, considering you just got out of prison? Please don't tell him, Boris. You can just tell him that I started acting like a crazed maniac, and that I threatened to call some journalists. You don't want me to actually do that, right? I want my kids. All right. So our destination's Belarus. Please. The price here is significantly higher. Here too. And here and here. It seems to me that you're overcharging your precious clients. They're expecting top quality. But you're substandard. A well-known scheme. You said that's what it seems, yeah? You just coined a legal term for me. <laughs> um, you think that the court will appreciate your efforts? I'd be careful if I were you. We'll find whatever it is you're hiding. Uh, if you say so. I have no doubt. Mm. Very well. We are done here. So here's your cell phone. They'll call in a couple of minutes. Go away and play cards for a few hours. Things would get better. For Mom, me, not for you. Cheater. Hello, Maria. Look at how tall you've got. Within a week? Do you like it here? Matvey's got all the luck. I just want to go home with you now. Then come with me. Really? Yes, really. Come on, let's go. Mom, is it true that you're getting a divorce? Yes, most likely. But are you sure about that? I am. I hope it goes smoothly. 
We were almost like living together but apart all at once. You should agree about me and my brother quickly. Because they've been trying to draw us over from the other side. What do you mean, Maria? I haven't done anything. But Dad is doing it. Shh. <laughs> Well, kind of. Let's go get your stuff. Okay. Yes. Hello. How are you? Hello there. Don't worry, I'm all right here. My father won't listen to me. You really upset him. But I'm gonna try one more time. Hopefully he's cooled off. Uh, listen, Anastasia, there's no need for that. I'll fix the situation myself. Is someone helping you? You sure you'll be fine? Well, you see, uh, Anastasia, I'm intending to let them take this to court. I'll see how it turns out. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> how bad do you think it'll go, huh? You sure there isn't any dirt on you? Of course they'll find some dirt. But I doubt that would be enough to get me charged, you see. Are you kidding me? I'm sure you know how they do it. They can just frame you. Listen to me. I believe you've done all that you could. But you asked me for help. Yes, and it just so happens that they started chasing me exactly after I met you. Are you blaming me for this? Anastasia, I need to go. It's time for dinner, and I don't want to miss it because of a phone call with you. You damn bastard, Andre! I hope you rot in jail! Throw up that and suffer, you damn manipulative piece of crap! Well, that wasn't very nice. There you are. <laughs> Maria, I lost because of you. Did you miss me, you little punk? I didn't. Is mom here? Yes. Madre! <laughs> mom, there you are. Oh, hello there. Put me down, mom. You're drooling all over me. <laughs> My poor boy, you weren't too scared, were you? Why would I? I heard that you almost got hit by a train. No, I was at least three meters from the railway. <sighs> oh, I love this. The whole family's here. Mom has missed you so much. <laughs> Igor, we need to talk. What are you trying to... Now, first of all, hello there. And second, don't talk to me like that because I don't want any family squabbles. I will talk however I want to. You're going through hell and high water to take the kids from me. Do you want war? Fine, I'll get you that. You know I'll do anything for the sake of my kids. <clears throat> Igor. I'm cold. Got nothing to say? It's cold in this country. These are my conditions. You will be receiving an allowance once a month. The kids stay with me. You may meet them twice a week. You don't live here. Okay. Good. My conditions. The children will be staying with me. You will act like a good father and give us allowance. You'll visit whenever you wish. And? And a bonus. Ah. You'll have Gavrishov. Or do you want me to go crazy with loneliness? I might say something I to the media. I get it. He'll be out of jail. But you take him somewhere far away. Go to Haiti, the far side of the moon, forever. The rest, it's a no. See you in court.
You'll regret what you said. Soon enough. To the court? Very well. But why would you help that Gavryushov? You said it's critical for the court to prove the marital unfaithfulness even before discussing divorce. Therefore, to say, hmm, to show her degradation, her immoral portrait, her lascivious temperament. I guess I did. And so, if we imprison Gavryushov, their lawyers will try to depict the bastard as a martyr. And if that does happen, I'll end up looking like I just want revenge. Yet, uh, we still need him to file for bankruptcy. But don't put him in jail. Now, if we set him free, he will sabotage her. <laughs> and then he'll take her mind off the kids. Genius? I salute you, Master. You sound more like a lawyer than most of us. Boris, fix your posture. Fix your posture. You're getting cheekier. Uh, come on. There you go. Move your chair back. Thank you, Boris. Uncivilized, my word. Boris. I want some alone time. And there's no need to worry, ma'am. After this injury, you can start exercising in the gym twice a week. And instead of doing 15 squats, you can start with 10. How many reps can you do again, dear? Less than one. Don't worry about it. We can always reduce the load, so instead of squat, he'll be performing some front bends. <laughs> you'll bend over, trying to reach your knees with your arms. <laughs> if you can, keep trying till you can, right? Don't worry about anything else. Just commit yourself, and you'll gradually notice the improvements. Have a great day. Likewise, ma'am. <laughs> Alexei, didn't I tell you not to come here? What happened? Hello there. Hello. I just got out of jail, Darya, but I kept thinking of you, with every passing moment. Is this your first time visiting? I'll call an instructor. In the meantime, feel free to walk around and see the club for yourself. What kind of jail? Uh, a regular one. <laughs> I was recently released. Mm-hmm. Then maybe things would have been better if you just stayed in prison. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Please drive away from my club. Just wait for me, okay? Where will I wait? Go home, okay? I'll come see you. You take care. See you soon. Excuse me, sir. You called for me? Please take a seat. Give me Garyashov's case. Did you find anything? Yes, sir, I did. We are in malleable circumstances. First there was this, and now there's that. Well, they're not exactly opposites, but long story short, this is going to be an administrative case. So, what will we do then? Do you remember what they taught us? If you don't know how to act, then let the law guide you. <laughs> so what does the law say then? Mm -hmm. Care to explain? Well, let's start from changing the measure of restraint and admitting him bail. These are the papers. Just give your opinion, and then I'll decide the resolution of this matter with respect to your thoughts. I think that... I think we can... probably admit him. Okay. I'm glad to hear that we agree on this. Thank you. I'll look through it in a bit. So, can I go now? Of course. You're free to go. You have a cigarette? You can't smoke here, ma'am. 
Was my question about whether or not I can smoke here? I told you to lose that habit. How are you so incapable of even directly answering a simple question, you damn nitwit? For once in your life, can you not be a failure? Autumn would come sooner. Oh, it's my favorite. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and? I love you. <laughs> look, 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 look. Look, look, look. What? <laughs> look at that fish. Come on, look. It's swimming. It's swimming. It's looking for prey. <laughs> I need to go to the kids that are waiting. I need to be there for them. Autumn will come and everything will get better. We just have to keep waiting for a while. Listen, <laughs> does he understand that it's finally over between you and him? No, it doesn't seem that way. One time, his car was stolen by a bunch of thugs. It was later found, and he went on to show how he's pathologically sure that everything his will come back to him. Are you saying that he still thinks of you as an item? Yes. He doesn't like it when he loses his properties. Listen to me, okay? I'll only say this once. If you have any problems, they will be mine too. And if you want something, I will take it for you. And I'm giving you this warning. As soon as you become my wife, I'll be thinking of you as my own property as well. Except, except that you'll be my greatest treasure. One that I'll take care of all my life. Well, okay. Greatest treasure? Of course. <laughs> Very well. Are you sure? Yes. Yes? yes. You're sure, okay? <laughs> Now. To hell with him. 
Sis, I was thinking about it. Did you notice? When I ran away, they got together immediately. No, Matve. They're not together now. What if we run away together this time? Stupid. You still haven't learned your lesson. Didn't you regret running away? Don't try running again. You're just making things worse. But what if I run farther? This time, you're with me. And then they'll have to look for us together this time. And while they look, they'll make peace again. That's what I think. I don't want mommy and daddy getting a divorce. Families should live together, right? I want us to stay like before. What do you think? I feel the same. I want them to stick together. You see, mommy and daddy can only live together for as long as they love each other. Then what about their love for us? Are we not enough? <laughs> Try thinking about it this way. They'll keep loving their kids forever. Both mommy and daddy. But if the adults only love their children and not each other, then there's nothing we can do about it. Why is that? You'll know when you grow up, and it's your turn. <sighs> what are you up to? Why aren't you sleeping? Huh? It's one past midnight. Why couldn't we? And our biological clock's broken. <sighs> Is it true that you were jailed? No, I wasn't jailed. I just had to sleep there for a bit. Were they all wearing red just like in the movies? And who put you there? Daddy held for sure. I think you're lying. Mom, who was that bastard that you were going with? Matve, you shouldn't use that word, okay? Hmm? It's a bad word. <sighs> Conspiring behind my back, huh? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm? Go to sleep. You should go to bed as well, Igor. Get up, Matve. It's time to sleep. We're off to bed now. Come on. What now? Nothing much. I can see through you. Your daddy already knows what you think about him. You're too easy to read. Just like mother. Do you want to have a good life? Go to sleep now. Not just a good life, mind you. <laughs> Think about the greatest life there is. Of course I want to. Do you think that she can support you? Well, I can. <laughs> Look at your mother. She's a beggar. You know? I can see it in your eyes that you understand me. Sleep well, okay? <sighs> Good night, dear. That's enough. Let her go to her room. Come with me. I'll put you to bed. Let her go, Igor. Come on. Good Where's night, my dear. Boy? You sleep well too, Dad. <laughs> go to sleep now. Come on, Igor. That's enough. <laughs> So in short, here's what I found. Marital properties. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm talking about marital properties. Marital properties? We've lived together for so long, but we don't have any. Well, the marital properties can be divided if you, um, don't have any of those. The kids? So Mr. Palagin knows a lot of ways to say that he doesn't have any properties at all, but that's just on paper. And about the kids? We may try saying that, you know, I've got nothing. Or I'm just renting. It's arrested, pledged, sold, and so on. He has the documents to beat us. What about the kids? Well, as for them, it's no issue for us. <sighs> It'll be a lot more difficult for him. I don't know how he plans to take them. As it turns out, things will be easier than expected. Valeria here will provide us a report on the children's mental health, won't you, Valeria? And our dear friend, Dr. Anatoly, will be providing us with testimony about eating a psychiatric disorder and what it may entail. Uh, here's our child services representative, Mrs. Eleftina. Um, I'm sorry, it's Antonina. Miss Antonina, I'm sorry. 
Miss Antonina here will give us an insight about Irina's capability to provide for the children with, uh, respect to her housing facilities. Yes, but we have yet to conduct an examination. Allow me to assure you that there will be an examination before the hearing. Miss Irina won't be capable of providing for the housing facilities, let alone for the children. No, maybe if I was more familiar with her. As far as I'm aware right now, she doesn't have any support from any benefactors. She is nothing without me. And there's your answer. Hence my supposition that there's nothing difficult here. Very good. So what I want to know is this. Why did Mr. Pelagin let you out of the prison? Other than what's obvious, which is to de-escalate. Well, there must be another reason. I think knowing this will be imperative. Now listen to me. Your would-be father-in-law, Kormukin, and Mr. Balagin are opposing forces. You can think of them as rival syndicates. They have one objective. Think of this little star as the Kremlin. Sooner or later, they will clash. It'll be a tough battle. Both of them are trying to outclass. They're playing dirty, recruiting partisans. Palagin knows that Komukin wants Andre in prison. So he crabs his game, and he releases you. Komukin will want to hit back on Palagin. So at this very moment, if someone offers him enough support, even on behalf of his enemy, he will agree. He will cooperate. Are you saying I should offer him my services? No, he's asking me to offer Cormacan what I know. Am I right? Alexei wants me to speak with Cormacan and sell out Pelagina by telling him everything about his rival. And then we'll be able to count on Cormacan's help. Yes. You can do it. Because firstly, you live with Pelagin, and he's got you cornered. Secondly, Irina, you're a sleeping fighter. No, I'm already awake. Hey. You have to be careful with him. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Well then, we can finally start playing. Konstantin Denisovich? <sighs> Mr. Kormukin, excuse me, I'm Palagin, Irina. Palagin's wife. Mr. Kormukin, may I speak with you? 90 seconds. If you're in a hurry, maybe we could talk in the car? <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. You can take a break. Slava, take a walk. Would you like some water? Mm, no, thank you. Wine, maybe? No. Then perhaps you'd like this. No? Well, as you wish. It's obvious why you were here, very. Getting divorced, things went downhill, and dangerous. It's clear. So you're here begging for my help. Sums it up, doesn't it? In theory, it's wise, but too bad. In practice, it's unwise. The way I see it, helping you out means assisting your friend. So I don't want to help you. In fact, I can kill you. But you are being protected by my exalted virtues. And so, I don't know. Speak up. Think about what's more beneficial. Hmm. You know, I think it would be beneficial for you to have me as your ally, your greatest rival's wife. It would serve you and your colleagues as well. Oh. Don't you think so? I'm sure they'd appreciate this collaboration. Tell me, what's your specialty? History. And where did you get these skills? In MSU. Mm -hmm. The Faculty of History. 
Intrigues. Palace coups and such. Okay, intrigues are intriguing. Why can't everyone just be everyone's allies? What if I make you my assistant? Officially, that is. Of course, now my daughter would get mad at me. That's okay. She'll cool down. She'll find more of those Gavrusha fellows. This is a matter of national importance. I won't have this country plundered by its Palagans. I believe I've considered all variables. It's the right call. And so, what'll happen next? Whatever. First of all, I'll hire you. Call yourself what you'd like. Assistant, consultant, press secretary. That's up to you. Shall we start right away? Well, we can. But we've got some time. No, I will be driving. Ah, uh, this isn't an offer. I want you to drink from this glass. What I want, you will follow. This is how we're going to work now. Mr. Kormukin, your tastes are refined. Do you really think flirting <laughs> with me will help? You're a good-looking woman, that one's for sure. But believe me, I have zero interest in you. Now eat this piece of orange. No, no, no. Eat it. From your hand? Eat. From your hand? Mm-hmm. Only dogs eat from one's hand. I won't do it. That's what you are. That's what you are. Won't do it. What did you think would happen, huh? You crawled to me, promising to betray your spouse, trying to charm me. You thought I would melt down, huh? No, I will not. I believe you should have an understanding of who you're dealing with much better now. You will eat what I tell you to eat. And you will eat from my hand. And you'll be drinking only from my shoes. From water to cognac. And if I tell you to bark, you'll bark for me. Is that clear? For the sake of my kids. For the sake of your kids? You think I care about that? Yes or no? Are we agreed? Want me to give you a lift? I'll drive myself. Ringing. Just leave it. Is mommy home? <sighs> Why aren't you in your room? Mommy promised she'd walk with me. I will walk with you instead. I wanted to walk with mommy. And daddy will tag along with you. Play around. Go on.
Hey, did you fall asleep over there? Did you change it? It wouldn't open. Sorry, we've been ordered not to let you in. What do you mean by ordered? Bring her stuff. So you wouldn't let me in anymore? You're making a barricade? Where are the kids? This is Maria speaking. Hi, Mom. This is Matvey. This is no longer your residence. Don't come close. Go get your things. Go back where you came from. And don't come back here ever again. Don't show yourself to me. You are no mother, nor a wife. Get out of here. Clean it yourself. Is this the police? They're not letting me inside my house. My name is Irina Palagin. No, nothing has happened yet. I'm just not allowed to enter my own house. Six Lesnaya Street. Can you please come and find out what's happening? Boris. Hmm. Look. Hello, Officer. Officer Dobrov, did you make the call? Yes, it's me. What happened here? They won't let me in my house. May I see your documents? Here you go. Officer, just calm down, calm down. Hey, officer, can we talk? All good? Thank you. I'm Officer Dobrov. We received a call earlier from your wife. As you can see, she's out of her mind. Diagnosed with psychotic disorder. She's taking therapy. Stop lying and calling me insane. You're the one acting insane here. I would suggest that her actions be considered as forcible entry, officer. Please help her grab her suitcases and take her to the police station for questioning. 
I'm not a psychiatrist. Just show me the documents, please. Whose? Your documents. I need to make sure that this house is yours. Don't you know who <laughs> lives here? You think it's Biberevo? Show me your documents, sir. Officer Dobrov. Tomorrow at General Sandiv's, surely you know him. I assure you there will be a report on his table. Who are you, sir? I'm asking for your documents. Yours and yours. Show me your documents. Show them to me now as well as your license. Your armed security license. Are you really coming at me? Get in your car and get out of here. You don't need to yell, sir. Let's settle this decently. Okay. If you're not going to show me the documents that I'm asking for, we're all going to watch what happens and see from the court side. You know what? That one is according to the regulation affirmed by General Sundev. What are we going to do? We will just stand here? If he attacked you while you were inside, I would take action. As for not letting you in the house, there's no provision against that. But, but this is my house. Irina, you don't own anything in this house. You know my kids are here. Our discussion is over. You, everything's gonna be fine. Okay, let's go. It's gonna be no, fine. I don't want to. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, Let go of me. Mom, you won't leave me, right? No, no, no. Let's no. go. Matvey, come on. We have to go inside. Your father's waiting. Mommy will come stay on. here. Mommy will come okay. back. Mommy will come back for come you. Let me be with my mommy. Let go of me. What are you going to do? Matvey, my dear, I'll come and get you. You don't worry. I'll come and get you soon. So he's not letting you enter your own house? Who the hell he thinks he is? You should take a bulldozer and crash it into the damn gate! Well... Hey, Andre. Do you think from a legal perspective that his actions are disorderly conduct? Removing obstacles to enter one's own house is only possible through a court hearing with the presence of law enforcement. I really need to see my kid soon. He's already gone crazy, and it's dangerous to leave the kids with him now. I need to take the kids away from there. I'll get them up, whatever it takes. Trust this one on me. I will draft an application. It'll serve him what he deserves. Everything will be fine. But you know, if ever you are inside that house, and he tries to suddenly kick you out, it'll be another case, you know. There's a law for that. Irina, do you have a high fence?
Who are you? Oh, good afternoon. Uh, my surname is Lyovkin. I would like to talk to Mr. Palagin, please. Do you have an appointment? Not really, but I'm the representative of his wife, Irina Palagin. All right, but he's not here. Really? When will he come back? Mr. Pelagin doesn't do his meetings at home. You could call his assistant to arrange it. We'll wait for you in the car. Uh, can you just tell him I'll wait for him here? I'm telling you, sir. You should call his assistant Boris Chewiski instead. Chewiski. Um, could you give me his number? Write it down. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Morning. Where is he? Mr. Palagin, he is here. Mm -hmm. Ready? All right. Uh -huh. Make sure to write this down. Palagin, sir. Your wife is here. Stop the car. Turn the car back. Let's go home quickly. Hello, Sergey. Send me one of your guys. At least a colonel, please. I'll explain to you when I get there. Yes. Thank you. Maria, are you awake? Oh. oh, my love. Quickly, bring your things. We're going somewhere. Where? What's going on with you and Dad? Your dad doesn't want to let me in here. He's having a tough time now, so I can't leave you here with him. It's too dangerous. Pack your things quickly. Let's go. I'm afraid of both of you now. Don't think about it, dear. Everything will be fine. I'll take Mod Bay. Hurry up. Mod Bay? Mopri, my son, come on, hurry up. Let's... Mom, why did you come home? You won't oh, leave dear. me anymore, right? No, no, my dear. Mommy won't. You'll come with me. Where, Mom? Where do you want to go? Mm, I don't really care. I only need a good TV with a gaming console, and I'm okay. <sighs> Get dressed now. We will go out now. Put your hand here. Good. Well done, let's go. Run along now. To whiskey, right? Yes. Got it. Anything else? Well, no. Have a good day, sir. No problem. I'll go ahead now. Fine. Thank you. Mrs. Balagan, you're not supposed to be here. How did you enter the house? Mr. Palagin. I'm here to take my children. Of course you won't let me. I know you would stop us and won't let us go now. But I'm asking you as a woman and as a mother. I'm begging you, please let us go. Now. Tell me, on what grounds are you arresting us? Yeah, right. That's a good question. 
Have you heard of the Article 286 of the Criminal Code Abuse of Rank? You know what it means? You violate our rights and interests. Balagan, what are you doing? What were you even thinking? Mr. Palagin, can we just talk about this first? It seems you can only fight with women and kids. Andre, stay get out inside. of this. Your mom's being a psycho again. Let's go now. Come on, get inside. Is this what you really want? The kids will surely hate you for the rest of your life. Let him go, Dad. Solve your problems and don't get us involved in this. And then decide who, where, and why. And please let them go now or else I'll call the police by myself. That's my girl. Let them go. I expected that things would turn out like that. But you didn't even listen to me, did you? You don't bring a knife to a gunfight and your ex-husband doesn't shoot a gun. He fires a bazooka. Now it feels as if we're attacking him with bare hands. Then what do you suggest, Alexei? I suggest we shut him off the proper way. File a claim and sue them. Then dig up some dirt on his business. We will collect some information. I'm sure he has a lot of violations in every business he has. Discrediting him would be the best strategy. And it's best to prove it to the whole country. How do we do that? You know, when they arrested us, I filmed a video of it. Even if they take our phones, I've already sent the video to my email. We're going to assemble a video where a rich, angry husband takes the children away from his beautiful wife. Such stories get to YouTube's trending list. We will not be the only ones to sue Palagin, but also the people who'll watch that video. By the way, Yurina, Palagin keeps repeating that you're... He's saying you're sick. Tell me, uh, did you visit any doctor? Huh? I haven't. Will you be honest with me? <sighs> well, I visited a doctor once when I was suffering from frequent headaches. I had strange dreams every night. I went to a clinic, they did a CT scan, and this doctor, a psych neurologist, he told me everything was fine and he prescribed me some medicine. Um, I saw him later at Darius, at her club. We only talked a little and that was it. Recently, he started calling me often to offer help, but I told him I didn't need it and everything's fine with me. I got it. There is this term in law that we all call incapacity or partial incapacity. Palagin knows about this one, and he will probably use it to his benefit, especially if this neuropathologist assists him. We need to meet him, Irina. We will talk to him together. It's Kormukin. You mean the Kormukin? Yes. I don't get why he's still not starting his game. Huh? Why are there no battle planes shooting at Palagin yet? Why? We'll see him when we need to. Yes, hello, Mr. Kormukin? Yes. Okay, I'll be there. Bye.
Hello, good afternoon. Oh, hello, good afternoon. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. That is Sutkov from the State Duma. He's our friend, but still a sneaky one. We used to call those when we were little. And as they say, friends like this, you don't need enemies. I'm glad oh. to see you here. Yes. Nice seeing you here. Hello, Mr. Kormulkin. Yes. Sinoshikov, a banker. He's among our men too, but a very good one, oddly enough. Can you believe it? He has money. He decided to help kids in need, to pay for his sins. Mr. Sinoshikov, I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. <laughs> Good afternoon. A bastard on a national scale. Just look at him over there at the corner. He survived three heart attacks, but he's still alive. Just look at how he's staring at us. He must be thinking, why are you here with me? We'll let him wonder. We have work to do. Now come with me. <laughs> Mr. Kormukin. Yes, yes. May I? But of course. Oh, by the way, let me introduce Irina Palagin. Uh, yes. Irina here. She's my new assistant. If you have any questions for me, she will answer them for you. Mm -hmm. but no, 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 please. <laughs> Tell me, as for this event, it's clear that the goal of this is to help children in need, but why is it held today? And why are the institutions that have lost credit still included? Uh, I'm afraid I don't understand what institutions are saying. I also don't think that's the point. What they really want is to reach out and to help the children in need. The Bible says, blessed is the hand that gives. Isn't that right, Mr. Cormican? I think we should just be happy and grateful rather than trying to investigate who, what for, to whom, why, I'm not when. trying to investigate. Then ask me what your exact question is and I'll answer it. Where exactly and to whom all this money will go? All of it will go to the children. The people who came here are willing to help this cause using their own hard-earned money for the children. You can see the boxes over there. Um, the major institutions and uh, the companies will also donate money and support in whatever way they can. So, uh, you guys have already made a donation, have you? If you haven't yet, you're welcome here. You can yes, look around. Will. Let's help the children. You did well. Not bad for a beginner. What channel will they broadcast this one? It won't be on TV. That's our people filming. It's only a live stream. I don't really get it. What are we watching? This some kind of soap opera? Lyubovyarovai or what? What do you mean? You used to have low grades in literature in school? Uh, uh. Back then, there was a popular Soviet play named Lyubov Yerovaya. The husband in that play supported the whites, and his wife, she loved him, but she betrayed her husband and left. I don't know her anymore. We're two steps from divorce. Igor, what is this? I thought we'd already agreed on this. Uh, well, Ilya, you see, she turned out to be just completely insane and became wild. Then make those two steps and put an end to it, so we can finally clear this up. Or it's me who'll be asked those questions, you understand? Whose side is Palagin on, and why is his wife working? Or to put it in other words, is she working for our opponents instead? How do you want me to answer them? Then tell them she's not his wife! I'm sorry. Ah, Igor, Igor. Can I go now? It's not the right time, not right now. Can I go now, I said. Yes, you're free to go. Have a good day. One needs to distinguish between the events that are held formally, for a show, and only concrete initiatives. Uh -huh. Now, women are often hired for official positions. Is this a result of feminism, acknowledgement of women's roles in the workplace? Or is it just like in perfume companies and fashion houses who just use women uh, to bolster their image? Sorry, what's your name again? Sergei. Sergei, you've answered your own question. 
This is the acknowledgement of the role of women not only in politics, but in the mm -hmm. world. Well, then what's your official position in here? Irina Palagin. She's the assistant of the deputy. She's also a member of the Commission on Maternity and Childhood. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes, it's true. I mean what I say, because that's what this card says. Agreed? It's that soon? Of course. Well, what are we waiting for when this is something we can celebrate together? I haven't eaten since yesterday, so please indulge me. I came here with Valeria. Say hello to her. Hello there, Maria. You came here to brainwash me, right? <sighs> Why would you even say that? I thought we understood each other back in the camp, and that we're friends now. Really? That's interesting. Why did you come in our house then? I think I'll leave you two alone now. <sighs> Maria. Honey, I know that. You're worried about your parents. That's why I came here today. I want to help you cope with it. Do you want to hear what I'm thinking? What if we tried to look at this from a different angle? <laughs> Try imagining your mom and dad are not your parents. Think of them as a couple who lived together for 16 years. The man has stayed as a faithful husband, a very good father, while the woman... <laughs> Maria, I'll just say this directly, okay? Mm -hmm. The woman has found a new lover. She sent her kids to the camp so they won't disturb her. They decided to send us to the camp for the winter. But you were against their decision to send you there, am I correct? Yes, I didn't really want to go there. But did you tell your mom about that? We talked about it, by the way. You see, Maria, you've talked to her. And yet she trampled on you, and even your little brother. She was only thinking about herself. Well, she has the right, it's true, and it's her right to choose that. But what about you, huh? The woman quits on her husband to go and live with her lover. And she also wants to take the kids to live with her at a stranger. Let's be objective, Maria. The man who didn't do anything wrong is now living all by himself. Do you think that it's just right and fair for him to be treated this way? What do you really want from me? Nothing. I just want to help you here. For you to understand the situation. Well, I don't want to understand anything about this. Maria. Maria. So I take it your chat didn't go so well? I don't think so. I know she already hates her mom. She just doesn't want to. She just doesn't want to admit everything to herself. Will you also talk to the boy? Of course I will. Where is he? Playing video games upstairs. Okay, that's great. I have to say that you did well. What? You were the one who came to me for help, remember? 
And yet, you didn't call me. He kept waiting. It's a rare quality, a great one. You know I don't like being disturbed. I totally get it. And another thing. You are actually quick-witted, aren't you? That's also rare. And I appreciate it. Consider me impressed. So tell me what you want. Be quick about it. Excuse me. Where should I start? You should start from the beginning. Ready to hear you out. Huh. They've written this fine print on purpose. The words are so tiny, I can't even read it. Are there any additives? I don't know what I'm buying. Why can't I get through to anyone? Who are you calling? Matvey and Maria. I don't know why Irina doesn't answer. Mm. Oh, there. That's just like her. Says nothing, then bam, shows up. Well, she hasn't come home for too long. Well, then try calling Igor, then. They are getting a divorce at the moment. Seems inappropriate. Officially, he's still her husband. Call him. I'll talk to him. Here. Igor. Hello. Igor? Hello. This is Korobko Sr. Why is nobody answering the phone? Is everything all right? What is it? Mind your own business, he said. Then he dropped the call. What does he think of himself? All because he's a tycoon? Yuri! Oh, don't Yuri me! Tomorrow, we'll go there by ourselves. Okay. <sighs> Kormukin said if a smart man behaves stupidly, that's already good enough to be taken as revenge. That's already good? I see. That's only good for Kormukin because Pelagin's his sworn enemy. What is he planning to do, huh? Then why are you yelling? How's he gonna help? I don't know what he's thinking, but he said whatever happens, he's ready to support me. Oh, of course he said that. He'll support you. Well, I can do that too. I can just walk up to a beggar and tell him, I support you, bro, and I'm definitely with you mentally. And then I leave. Lower your voice, will you? So what? Sorry for coming all of a sudden. Oh, you're here. That's great. So what's happening now? What are you going to do, Irina? About what? Polagin came to see Victor. He said you broke into Igor's house to take the children. Irina, are you completely out of your mind? It's crazy to behave like this. Do you understand? So what now? I don't know how, but if we put pressure on him, he'll turn into a tank and smash us all to death for sure. How should I behave now? What should I tell Victor? He's already thinking that I stand with you. Whose side are you on? I'm on your side, you know, but Irina... I've already told you a million times that it doesn't work like that, okay? You understand? All right, you two love each other. That's great news. Be together. Who's stopping you? Who's against the two of you? Why are you ruining your life? You know what I'd say in front of them? Just look at them. Those men under 40, why are they still unmarried? Here's the answer, okay? Because they're not interested in getting married. Let me remind you, we're not young girls anymore. We're adults. We're women with kids. And then all of this will last at most for a year. Yes, Andre, for a year. And don't you make face there, I saw you. So how are you now? Well, you must be unhappy with all this stuff, right? Are you ready to escape? But you know you can't, because you're a gentleman, hey, aren't stop you? Hey, it. You thought this would be a nice love affair? A spicy adventure, and look what happened. That's enough. That's enough, Daria. Daria? Turns out. Come here, Irina. Come on. Where are you going? Well, my friends! Irina and I are getting married! <laughs> that caught me off guard. Irina, I have been mulling it over for a week and I still don't know how to propose. Andre. Wait a second. Irina. Andre. Irina. <laughs>
Will you do me the honor of marrying me, Irina? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Clap your hands, everyone! Let's get going. They need a moment with each other. Where to? No offense, sometimes you're just so stupid. Come on now. Should we take those? I'm on it. Here you go. Here. I love you. Listen, Dilf. What? If you decide to pull out a ring the same way to me, I swear to you I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> Why is that? For your information, I'm not <laughs> as cheesy as him. Because no one really marries such guys like you, do you understand? No, I mean you're a good guy. I even like that you're silly, but you're not spoiled. What do you mean? <laughs> guys like me, huh? I'm kidding. I mean you're funny and you're handsome. I don't really get it. You mean nobody takes me seriously? You're right. Try telling me. Daria, take your son. Let's go to India together. Daria, let's take your son with us. We're going to win you. Forever. <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> now you try telling me. You're a blonde, Daria. I've had hundreds of blondes and you're just one of them. No, I won't say Come that. Come on, just say it. I'd try it. Not. Come on, it's easy to do. Fine then. <clears throat> Daria. Yes? You're blonde, aren't you? Yes. Well, I've done hundreds of blonde girls. You're one of them. No, I believe in that one. But I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can only believe those who are only kidding when saying things. Because you know those people who speak so seriously? They either lie or want something. Well, I need nothing except your love for You me. can have it as much as you want. You know, I like it very, very much. I even love you a little bit, but I just can't do it like Irina. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. It seems to me that their affair won't last long. And we'll leave everything ruined. I can't build something new from broken pieces of everything, Lyovkin. You know that? That kind of thing just doesn't work for me. It's not for me. I can't do it. Please don't frown. It's not just about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not alone. We shouldn't have taken him. You need me here, I'll handle this. Look at him saying he will deal with him. Just go back to the car. Wait for a minute, son. What brings you here, ma'am? Um, we're Mr. Palagin's parents-in-law. We're Irina Palagin's parents. Sorry, the boss asked not to be disturbed. What? Who are you anyway? Who are you? I'm the guard here. Please leave the area or we'll call the cops on you. What's what? your problem? Oh. Irina, mom and dad are here and your brother too. Brother-in-law, are you listening to me? Igor Palagin, why the hell are you doing this? Anton! Get off Anton! me! Anton! Anton! You're here now, huh? Tell me where my sister is. Well, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your daughter, Irina Korobkova, doesn't live here anymore. I also don't know where she is. And we, the Palagins, Matvey, Maria, and I, are having a family meeting now. So we don't need any strangers, and I hope you have a good day. How could you do this? Can you explain this properly? How dare you turn your back when my mother's talking to you? And also forget this address, please. Go to hell! Wait! Uh, hey, what are you stop. doing to him? What are you doing to my Yuri, son? We came here to see the kids! Yuri! You what now? Get in the car! What? Later. I wish that this truck had grenades so I could throw them! Get in the car! Yuri! 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 <laughs> Let's get going. Let's go! Should we upload this? I'm not sure. 
The two of you are weird. I thought you're ready to face everything. Are we doing this or not? Sorry, wait a second. Hello? Yeah, Mom? I really can't talk right now. I'm in a meeting. Yeah, I'll call you back later. Don't worry about it, okay? I'm all right. What? What? Hello? Oh. Yes. What happened, Irina? My parents went to the house to see the kids. Igor didn't let them in and offended my dad. And my brother got beaten up. <clears throat> All right, go on. Let's upload the video. Don't forget about that psychiatrist. It's very important. You know, in every divorce suit, one parent always appeals to the other's inadequacy. Especially if it's been confirmed by medical certificates. Do you understand? That's it, it's uploaded. In just 10 seconds, it already has 100 views. Excuse me, how did you get here? Dr. Anatoly doesn't see patients now. He's not here, actually. Listen, miss, it's gonna be fine. Just calm down. We know. We also know where his office is. You don't have to come with us. But I can't let anyone enter. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Dr. Anatoly, I tried to stop them. It's all right. I'll call security. Dr. Anatoly. There's no need to call security. A month ago, I did a CT scan in this clinic of yours, right? Yes, I know. Do you Take remember? I came here and even brought the results to show you, and you told me everything's fine. Now, it appears I'm currently a patient of a psychoneurological clinic, that I've been diagnosed with mental problems. And then my husband kept telling me about it just before filing for divorce, insisting I'm mentally challenged. Could you please explain this to me, or somehow comment on what's happened? Irina. Well, unfortunately, you know according to medical ethics, we're forbidden to share your info to others. I'm sorry. And in your husband's case, he is... According to the rules, he's your spouse. Mm -hmm. So therefore, based on the rules, your spouse also has the right to know of your medical record. So when he came to ask for it, I showed it to him. Well, okay. Then I would like to take a look at it. I'd like to know my medical record. However, according to the same rules, and I hope uh, that you will understand, our clinic specialization suggests that we have no right to show our patients their medical records. Well, now we have to really see that report, don't we? Huh? Hold on a minute. You know Irina Palagin. Um, Irina did not... Irina did not even receive any in-treatment from your clinic. That means she's not a mental patient. Then why do you keep refusing to show her medical record? Excuse me, but who are you? Irina's friend. This guy is my boyfriend. That means he has every right to know what is happening to me. <laughs> you know, Irina, believe me. With all the compassion that I have for you, your boyfriend, he cannot be considered as your close relative. Well, you see, the thing is, Irina's already getting divorced. Balagin's practically her ex-husband now. And legally, let me emphasize again, we are only working according to our strict protocols. Then just show me my medical record. <sighs> Mrs. Balagin, come on. There's no need to worry about it. I assure you there's nothing special there. Balagin is thinking the opposite. Well, that's quite clear. He's worried. And well, he's your lawful husband. Maybe he's just really that worried about you, you know. 
Fear sees danger everywhere. H hold on, let me get this straight. Alexei, you're the one who wrote her diagnosis, and now let you're refusing explain, to Alexei. show it to her. Just you're calm even down. saying Let him to... explain first. Just give it to us directly. Why are you refusing to show us the medical record of Irina Palagin's diagnosis? You know, young man, if you keep talking to me like that, I'll have to call security to drag you that's out. It. Got that's it. it. That's We're it. Done We're done here. We're going now. Have a good day. Mr. Palagin. It's Myshenkov. You'll be surprised at what I'm about to tell you. Your wife came here, along with her boyfriend. You know, I'm starting to think that Palagin is the one behind all of this. No, I don't think so. He'll never do such a thing to me, and he's not capable of Then we have to get you another doctor. No, I don't want to. I won't Listen go to, to any me, doctor Arina, anymore. Listen to me, you need to get to another doctor so that they can prove that you're legally capable of bringing up your children. Listen, you're not the only one interested in your divorce with Balagin. There are other parties as well. Cherpakov, Kermukin. Balagin himself understands this, and you don't. Thanks for explaining it, Alexei. So this is war. Exactly. This is beyond your family. Other people are involved, like it or not. How's Anastasia? Still the same. Just sitting at home, refusing to talk to anyone. Not even answering the phone. Konstantin, it seems to me that... What seems to you? It seems that she has been drinking recently. Even better. She just keeps being silent for days. Maybe she needs a psychologist. What psychologist are you saying? What the hell are you doing, Dad? Why the hell are you doing this? Honey, calm down. Shut up! Dad, explain this to me! To your mother. I didn't mean to be rude, but this is the woman who stole my entry. Do you... do you really work with her? This is your way of destroying her? This is all business, honey. Business, huh? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, business! This is not only all about you, but business too! Well, here. by the way, I didn't even ask you to help me about this. It was you who insisted. Yes, I did. I was hasty. Stop this now. That's it. You are a grown woman. Take a look. I'm sure you'll find some handsome and interesting men. Anyone will be happy if you end up choosing him, the daughter of such a father. But here you are saying, get married, get married. What a crazy idea. You should fix your personality first. Just look at you. Look, look at what you've become. be doing? Dad, what are you talking about? I'm telling you what real life is. You get married. And then what? Divorce? You'll become no one with nothing. You hear me? Remember what I tell you. Men always quit on useless women. Here's your favorite I'm already dumpling. fed up with your dumplings! Enough! By the way, Irina Palagin, she has brains. Not like you. And how are you planning to get your Andre back? Did you plan? Of course you didn't. So what now? Constantine. She deserves it! She needs to learn. And what are you doing here cleaning during dinner time? <sighs> He's right, honey. It's time for you to forget about him. He's not with you anymore. There's a lot of good guys around you. Mom, just, just don't say anything. What are you doing there? Um, I'm peeling off the onions here. What? This year's harvest seems very good. 
But I thought you were on a day off. Ah, <sighs> damn it. Maybe it looks like we're fine, but that's not really true, is it? You know what? I really feel bad deep down. Do you know where Stepan is? Why isn't he playing today? Is he at home? I think we don't know our child. We should spend more time with him. I'm spending time with him, so you know, you and I are not the same. What's new about Igor and Irina? I have no idea. You should give him a call. Ah, I wish I could just sell this house. This is mine anyway, so then I could here just go, go away again. from here and go to India. What's the matter with India? They have elephants. Ah, uh, elephants. Honey, don't be so sad, okay? I'll be back in the evening. As you know, I have kids, and I'm not really afraid to openly speak about my experience. It's something personal. My husband, the father of my children, has prohibited me from entering our house to see our two children. One may think it's such a ridiculous, silly, and cruel thing to do. Yes, I understand that. I have seen similar situations become common, that they happen so often, judging by the messages I have received in the last couple of days. I'm shocked and sad about it. Turns out, many women also have this problem. Their husbands, although without guards, confidently think they have all the right to separate a mother away from her children. As you can see, my dear friends, Irina here isn't afraid. I gotta say, Andre, to share the congrats. Uh, of her current situation, you really found an amazing woman. You're lucky. She herself is worried and is ready to discuss together the steps we need to take in order to ask the government for help. I understand I know. that being the co-chair of the group for political initiative puts her in a delicate position of sorts. It is my belief uh, that all mothers should be with their children. Confidently think they have all the right to separate a mother away from <laughs> her children. As you can see, my dear friends. Who would have ever imagined? Irina here isn't afraid. She's brave enough to share the details. Even I couldn't. Did you notice the satisfaction in Kormukin's face? Uh -huh. This is a sign. This is not for nothing. This is a sign from their side. This is not just for me. We need to file a suit, Boris, a suit. Do it as soon as possible. A court and the decision in my favor. All right, I will do what I can. That's not enough. Do even the most impossible thing. In order to ask the government for help, I understand that being the co-chair of the group for political initiative. Well, dad came in time. And punctualities, the politeness. Off the kings. Right. Well, um, how was your day? Do you really think that I myself like the situation? Well, Dad, is Mom really that insane that we cannot let her inside our own house? <laughs> you know what? Have you seen the age limit, 16 plus on TV? Mom and I have the same limit in real life. I don't recommend watching this for kids. Or she'll just try to take you in some other place again. You know your mom has gone insane. Maria, would you explain to your brother the meaning of the word insane? Explain it yourself. May I just go back to the camp? Well, all right. It's better there. That's a good idea. I'll think about it. Uh, fine, you should clean up here. We're having guests tomorrow. What guests do you mean? Good ones, good guests.
Maria. Maria! I told you to clean up. Come in. Well, as you can see, everything's fine. Maria, I have a question to ask. You don't feel the lack of food or clothing, do you? Come on, what does it look like? <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> well, then, she doesn't. it means she doesn't. Okay, shall we move on? Yes. In that case, ladies, will you please proceed? Mm. Didn't I tell you to clean up? Why is your room still so messy? Matve, uh, come in. Right. Here's my son. What a car you've got there. I've also got a real one, but I can't even use it outside the house or even the yard. Kids nowadays have so many electronic toys. I'm limiting their time spent on gadgets so that they can read more books. That one's reasonable. Mm -hmm. Are we done? Yes. Mm -hmm. Give me five. <clears throat> Now that that's done, uh, there's the swimming pool, and there's, uh, that's the playground. Mm. Ah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mm. I got stuck in traffic. Understandable. Let me introduce you to <sighs> our family. Pediatric psychologist. Valeria, it's so nice the to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Nice to meet you. I'm here to conduct psychological training for teenagers. It's excellent work. How's Maria, Mr. Polagin? Hmm. What about Matvey? Doing well. I've got some presents for them. I'm thankful. I'll go see them now. Please proceed. Please excuse me. Sure. <laughs> A great psychologist. I hear she's at the top of her field. You can really see that they care about the kids. You can know this down. Yes, do put that in your reports. Mm. Irina. Yes? Take a look at this. There's a whole bedroom and two beds. And a desk for them to do their homework. I think that's actually good. What do you think? Um, are you sure you want them to share a room? Ooh, sorry, I forgot about that. Um, I think there's enough space. We'll put a wall there and then there'll be two separate bedrooms. Let look me at see this. it. This one actually looks good. This is for Matvey. Here. Mm -hmm. And this one, look. What a nice room. Mm -hmm. That's for Maria. Mm -hmm. Nice, right? So you've already decided to take all of us? Do you have any other options? Hey, Andre, you really have to visit her? I really her? have to, Irina, just for today. Uh, thing is, I'm about to have an important event. Can we drop by in the evening instead? You know, my mom has these rituals, like if she invites you for lunch, she'll be reminiscing about everything in the past, and if it's for dinner, She'll lecture you on how to live. And breakfast? Huh? What about breakfast? Uh, you know, breakfast is a symbol of conciliation and peace. Probably. Uh, I hope that you're right. Just for a little while, okay? Sure, just for a little while, promise. You know that she doesn't like long parties. She's used to being alone. Uh, by the way, you spoke about your father. My dad? Mm-hmm. My dad, oh well, my dad. Just a month after their wedding, he started chasing some woman and he was hounded out of the family. 
I didn't even have the chance to get to know him properly. Her loyalty is admirable. I have a lot to learn from her. Are you two the same? Me? No. I'm worse. Huh? Much worse. <laughs> Much worse? <laughs> <laughs> well, keep that in mind. Okay. Victor, have you gone mad? It's hot outside. Why did you light a fire? Are you cold? Hey, Daria. Listen to me, all right? Don't be mad. I thought about it a lot. We shouldn't move to the capital. Well, Victor, can you hear yourself? How would we not move there? It means that you neither go there, nor will you be able to return. And then what about us? Where are we going to stay then? Well, we'll stay here, of course. It's our house. I could go back to construction for the money. Or were you just looking to be with a minister? Well, good for you. I lost my cabinet position, so you can do whatever you want. Congratulations. Honey. <laughs> honey. Honey, what is my honey talking about? You know, it seems like you're working hard only for me and Stepan, right? How about for yourself too, Victor? I live for the two of you, just for you and Stepan. How can you not understand? You know what it sounds unpleasant, Victor? It's not manly to behave like that. Something went wrong just about there, and what? To be stressed out at once? Looking at you makes me sick, really, Victor? So are you done? Yes. Then get out of my house. What a sorry excuse for a wife. Go away, I don't need you. You know what, Victor? I said get out! Hi, Mom. Oh. Hello. Hello there. This is so beautiful. <laughs> How are you, Mom? <laughs> Good afternoon. Good day as well. Well, it seems our first meeting wasn't that very warm. Mom, what's done is done. Let's not bring up the past. Let's just forget about it. I personally hate to pretend that nothing happened. So what's the point of forgetting? Yes, I was angry. But that's because I didn't understand it. Now I do understand. So let's get acquainted once again. Please come in. Would you like tea or coffee? I'm good, but thanks, Mom. Thank you, but I can't stay long. Have a seat. Thank you. You know, I've heard that you've become popular recently. Newspapers write about you. Oh. You're even on TV. I saw you once. You're watching TV? No, my friends. They're the ones who told me about you. I'll be frank with you. I'm actually an unacceptably frank person. I liked Anastasia. I still like her. But you won't be happy even with the best girl in the world, and especially if there's no love. I understand it, too. That's why I would like to ask you... ...what you are planning to do about this. Well, if you don't feel like telling me about that, you don't have to do it. The plan is simple, really, Madame Veronica. We'll live together. Be a family. You've got a call. Answer it so that they don't disturb you. Answer it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I will just switch it off. No, so. that's impolite. Answer the call. Go ahead, answer. I'm very sorry for this. Yes, Mr. Cormokin? Uh, yes, of course. That won't be possible. I'm too far from there. Okay, understood. Do you have to go? It's work. Are you serious? Yes. 
I understand that for modern young people, their work is everything. And these relationships can just wait. That's okay. We'll talk next mm, time. I can still stay for half an hour or so if... Irina. Darling, I don't want you to check the clock all the time during our talk. You may go now. It's okay. No offense taken. You may go now. I'm really sorry. Thank you, ma'am. Let me see you out. Mm-hmm. Didn't I tell you this would happen? You can stay here with your mother. Take care. You know, the only thing that I um, consider to like about her is that she really pronounced my name fluently. She really has a business event, Mom. Well, I just hope you've considered everything. You know her career. And also her age. And the fact that she was married. And her two almost adult I've children. I've considered everything, Mom. I've taken the kids into account, even her marriage. And everything else. You should tell me the truth now. You're against it, aren't you? Do you really care about that? Andre. Darling, it's your decision. But just don't tell me afterwards that I haven't warned you from all these. Mom, don't worry. Victor, how are you? It's good to see you. Likewise. I see. You've settled these things little by little. It's going to be a bit cramped. But don't worry. I'm sure in time everything will be fine. Well, how about we head out and go to a different place? Just to breathe in some fresh air. Huh. But of course, sir. That's great. Let's go now. easy to get a career these days. Yesterday, a housewife, today, a press secretary. You know she sleeps with him. That's a thing for sure. How do you know about that? I don't I just know what know you're it. saying about me, girls. But it's not true. What a witch. <laughs> if I'm a witch, then you should be careful. <laughs> Look around. I think this is where the Central Alley ought to be. This will be a huge amusement park and a nice cool fountain. That is quite impressive. Very good, Victor. You did very well. I see what you've done here. I also understand why you like this project. People need a place to have fun and rest. But they also need a nice place to live in. Huh? What issue do you think is more important in your opinion? Hmm? Yes, housing projects must take precedence, but we're working on it. There are new living quarters being built in our town. Not in town, Victor. We need to live here. Here, with nature right in front of us. Ah, this is amazing. You know, approximately, we can divide the land into 20 sections, but there won't be more than two or four acres each. And with its property name as Springs... Which is, I think, a very good name for a cottage estate. Yes, that does sound nice. What's with the face? Are you against it? No, no, um... Sir, please don't get me wrong, I'm not against your idea. I just have a problem. You see, I'm almost out of business. But the acting mayor has been good to me, so perhaps we can simply try to agree it's with him. It's still uncertain whether he would remain in that position. Listen to me, Victor. 
You still have the right to register those documents. Your signature is still legitimate. In extreme cases, you can do it in hindsight. There's no big deal. So what do you think? Well, if I must, then I shall deliver. That's good to know. That's great to know, Victor. You see, we're already finding common ground between us. And that is very important. Very important. Can't you just go through it without calling me? You could have just texted me or sent an email, but what did you do? You didn't. Instead, you decided to call me, and you chose to call me at the worst time. I just missed your voice. But I don't want to hear yours. I didn't need to hear it. You went all the way to my home just for that? Is this thing funny for you? Is it funny? All men are indeed selfish. You're all selfish, all of you. Don't you understand that this is hard for me? It's really hard to break up with you, so please help me. Don't call me, stop calling me. Leave her somewhere. I don't care where you choose to go. Are you kidding me? Yes, I'm actually sitting here now at your house and I'm kidding. Fine then. From now on, I'll keep my distance from you, permanently. Mm -hmm. That's better, thank you so much. I'm leaving. Where are you going? Well, you wanted me gone, right? What's your problem? Come here now. Well, now give me a hug. For the last time. <laughs> yeah, I must be too. Oh, shut it. No, I'm serious. No. Mm. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, only for the last time. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, need a speech, Erin. Speech? Yes, something like... Friends, on this special occasion, the anniversary of our orphanage, among our graduates are some honorable, uh, sportsmen and artists. Do we have any artists coming? There is one. Just one? Mm, that's great. You can just give me the facts and I'll handle the speech myself. We're doing a really good job, aren't we? Ah, uh, but you need to talk to the headmistress first because she is worried that the building will be demolished. Tell her that she may relax and it won't happen. All right. We'll use our funds for the repairs. You don't need to make any references about it. Just say that we'll do it. Okay. And invite your Gavryushov, okay? In a sports car, you know? Higgins will like it. Understood. Everything's going well. What about Irina's side? Well, Irina's having a charity event today at the local orphanage that turns 90 years. It's the one we wanted gone for one of our past projects. The road bypassing it means huge losses You're saying for that us. they changed their mind about it? The higher-ups were against it for a long time, but there were lots of complaints. Then they managed to calm it down. By the way, that cost Yes, us. Boris, I know, but what is she doing there? How would I know? I'm no fortune teller. And this is not her initiative. It's Karmukin's. Karmukin? Yes, Karmukin. Okay, let's go. No, there'll be a scandal. Scandal is my name. Mr. Palagin, it's not a good idea. Are you saying that we should let them trample upon our interests, Boris? Hold on, don't do this. My dear guests, my dear children, today we celebrate the 90th anniversary of our orphanage. And today, our very kind sponsors have come to congratulate us. There are also other advocates who have come from State Duma, represented by the deputy's assistant from the Commission on Maternity and Childhood, Irina Yurivna Palagina. Let me give the floor to her. Greetings, everyone. My name is Irina. And I am heartened to share with you this wonderful news. This building will no longer be demolished. Yay! 
Good afternoon. Good day. Good afternoon. Hello there. Good afternoon to our dear children and to our dear guests. There's something I'd like to say. We have one slight issue, and Elena wasn't fully informed about this one. But a new building is almost ready to be built here. It's going to be far better than this one, and it even has a swimming pool. Yeah. Guys, do you want a swimming pool? Yeah. <laughs> My dear Elena, I didn't think I'd live to see you become so gullible as to think that this woman knows anything. She's just a secretary. She doesn't have any idea about ongoing projects. Don't believe him. I know her. It's true. Respectfully, I would like to put a stop to this misinformation. They don't have any agreements about new buildings. Therefore, their demolition plans are null. With all sincerity, I'm telling you that in two months' time, the new building will be... It's already been a year since you told us Come about on, these two months. The microphone. Aren't you ashamed to lie to the kids? You've been keeping us waiting for a year now. Shame on you and all of you in your company. Irina, haven't you learned how to manage your stupidity? They keep on making promises that they never fulfilled. You really think that you're a trump card, or do you know you're just an errand girl? Which one? <laughs> do you know what's at stake here? The money? The people? <sighs> this isn't like cooking meals for kids. You're hit, you won't get up. I guess you can crawl. <laughs> You're really dumb. You're dumb. That's all for me. Boris. See you around. Dear boys and girls, let's all thank Miss Irina here for all her kind words and presents. All right, time now to get ready for the dance band of our orphanage. Here is the spots. That's sad. Don't worry, I'm all right. Thank you for coming here and everything you did for those kids. <laughs> they were so happy They're to funny. see you. They're funny. You know the little girl, Sophia? She kept calling me father. Really? Yes, she asked me to take her home. But then we just give them all these gifts and a concert. Andre, do you think that my job is meaningless? No, of course not. That's not what I meant. They need these presentations and all the attention you give them. I was talking about Kormukin and Balagin, Irina. Even if we exclude Balagin himself, what about his connections? They're all fighting against Kormukin. This isn't something black and white. These people have no remorse, Irina. They can destroy you if they wanted to. You're right. I know the risks. But this is my only chance. My only chance to have a strong supporter. If I should get inside a slaughterhouse for the sake of my children, I won't hesitate. I need to get going. Aren't you afraid? I'm not. I'm not anymore. So you won't try the sauna? No, I don't feel like it. I have high blood pressure. Mm. Don't be shy. Come help yourself. Bread, drink, I made it myself. You like it? Why are we here? Tell me. It's not the sauna. Come on. We haven't seen each other in ages. Why can't I invite my brother to a sauna just to catch up and drink? Everything's going great for me. I got myself a dream job all thanks to you. But my heart's feeling a little sick lately. I'm worried. Think I'm getting old. <laughs> you know, I was hurt when I found out you went through a divorce. I'm on your side, of course. Both as a man and a brother. You're right. Irin has been going too far lately, but in my opinion, she's still the mother of your children. Their mother. How can you target her and aim at her greatest vulnerability? All right, enough. I got it. Let me guess. 
Someone talked you into this. Either my wife or yours. Which one? Oh, come now. I'm just worried sick. Sick, huh? You're right about that. Everything was all right. Until my arena got sick of me, too. Mm, guess you're right. We're both sick of things. Sickness. Doesn't that itch? What? Your head. You've got bumps, left and right. <laughs> I don't get it. They almost look like horns. Igor, what are you talking about? Daria. What about her? I can't say it. Oh, but you should finish what you've started. Out with it. I have my own security service, so I know my wife's every step. And through those things, I know our wives. I didn't mean to know. Who? And when? You'd better ask her about the past. But today, it's Lyovkin, <coughs> Gavryushov's lawyer. I suspected. I had a feeling that something's wrong, screaming and demanding to open my eyes. Oh, come. Just look at her. How could she? <laughs> Today I'll become a murderer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Just, uh, stay here. Let's have a drink. No, that's not enough. Board here. Will you drink? Together. How could you? That woman. Come in. doctor on duty. Who's sick then? You see, Maria, divorce is like a disease. It affects everyone. Your mom and your dad, initially, then everyone here. The main goal is to ensure no one else falls ill. But I'm fine. That is good for you. I can hear someone coming. Who could it be? <laughs> Let's play again. All right. You know, I like board games very much. Maria, do you want to join us? Hmm? Okay. Oh. Let's decide who's going to play with which piece and which hand. Where is it? It's this one. 
Yellow. <laughs> Take it, Maria. <laughs> Welcome. Like it? This is a flat from our foundation. It's in reasonable shape. Some deputy used to live here for a couple of years, you see. We can just replace things, add furniture you like. Here's the cabinet. You like it? Yes, thank you, Mr. Constantine. I appreciate it. Don't worry. It's my pleasure. It feels good, especially since it cost me nothing. But I'm sure that you're aware that you will have to die from overwork to earn this. Yeah! This place is to die for! <laughs> Did my joke just fail? <laughs> no, it was funny. It was a good joke. I think so as well. Now all these jokes aside, you'll keep working to keep this place just like we've decided and like what you've already been doing. Until I am happy. Since when did I get so fat? I digress. Just finalize your divorce and do it quickly. Excuse me, I'm counting on your support in this issue too, Mr. Kormokin. Sir, I have a question. What? Why didn't you tell me it was Palagin who wanted the demolition? I didn't want you getting all emotional and messing things up before your reunion. And it ended perfectly, right? It's everything that I hoped for, like the way he got angry. Then he took to the stage and revealed his own fraudulence. Now everyone knows it's an illegal takeover. And you played the role of... Protector of children. Very good. Balagan exposed himself. He's like a moth to a flame. And it's all because of you. Thank you very much. Have you always been this pale? You want a vacation to the beach? Get a tan, hmm? <laughs> Mr. Cormokin. All right. Hey, be honest. You don't think I'm an interesting person, do you? No, no. It's the opposite, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I got it. All right, then. <laughs> yes, yeah, see you later. Irina. I'm a provocateur. Understood. I don't know. Go back to your room. Daria, show yourself to me! I'll kill you for this! Hey! Mom, you shitty you. whore! You'll pay for that! Damn you, Daria! Asleep, Mom. He's asleep. Asleep. Go back to your room. He's asleep. How'd it go? As for your kids. Depriving your spouse of her parental rights. It's almost unreal, but you know, as I suggested, it's quite possible to just limit their communication. That is the legal point of view, right? In fact, it's better you send them to some foreign country. For instance, to the UK or Israel. Israel's even better. We've got connections there. You're right, but I'm not a Jew. <laughs> Does it make a difference to them? One who comes with money is a Jew. That's how it is. Of course, you could also accept Judaism. Why not? There is a ritual called Giyor. Oh, shut it. <laughs> that would hurt. No, I'm too old for that stuff. I also think we can do without it. So there are the options. 
We have the UK and Israel. You know, drinking is surprisingly dull and exhausting. I think I've already heard that somewhere. Will you print this one for me, please? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Would you like to sign uh, up for a membership? Yes. I'm thinking about it. Have a look in our catalog, please. You have the option to buy an annual pass. It includes all of our fitness machines, even access to swimming pool and all sports, plus it's much cheaper. Mm -hmm. Or you may take an individual instructor. Mm -hmm. Have we met before, ma'am? We may have. You might have seen me in different places. I love going out a lot. Usually going to luxurious places. <laughs> oh, hi there. Uh, I decided to start getting into fitness. Uh, I'm looking through these booklets, you know, to see my options. Did you just finish working out? I need to go now. I'm in a hurry. <sighs> Andre. Hello, Irina? Yes, Dario, what's up? Yuga Vyushov's here, with that girl. They just went outside. Why should I be concerned? Let him handle his personal issues. Andre, you must be thinking that I'm following you. Okay, bye. I have to go. <laughs> okay, because I'm really following you. <laughs> okay, whatever. Come on, I'm just whatever. kidding. I said I'm just kidding. <sighs> Andre! Andre, can you help me, please? Something is wrong with the car's indicator. Maybe the fuse is broken. You understand this well. Please, help me. Start the engine. Where are the keys? They're in my bag. Try starting the car. The keys are in my... Try starting the car, I'm telling you. Can't Maria pack her things up herself? Well, she asked me to. Oh my goodness. I see, you're really taking everything. <laughs> no need for these. You know, the less stuff, the better. They need to pull away from home. But why? This house is very good. I'm not talking about the building, Nina. Take these. Oh, but this cat is her favorite toy. She keeps this in bed with Don't her. Don't worry, she's already an adult. She can do without the cat. I'll go to Mad Fay. Okay. So how's Matvey? Don't bother. Don't even think of persuading him. Anyway, the final decision is already made and that's it. They just have a tendency to protest, but they want others to decide for them. Hmm. It'll look like abuse. Well, you can say that. 
Abuse is an important part of parenting, just like Mr. Stalin. He understands it very well. He acted like everyone's a kid. And that's right. That was his phenomenon. He was a father figure to millions of children. For different ones, the silly and irrational. You really are a clever one. Let's go. Yes, I am. Is everything well taken care of? Don't worry, I'm sure they'll want for nothing in Israel. Nothing. What does Irina think? I'm afraid she has other things to do. Like what? You know, Irina has... a housewarming party. Seems Gormukin has already given her a flat. Who? <laughs> <laughs> that? <sighs> now moving on. Let him have his fun. She'll mess it up soon. You're right about that. It's beneficial. Come on, get inside. In the car. Valeria, sit here. I'll Thank sit in you. the back with the kids. Join you. Of course, but Mr. Loktev, what are you doing here? Shut up and keep going. Uh, essentially, we've set up 28 new garbage containers in place now, and then... And then what? Do you change these containers every month? But why would we, Mr. But why? Loktev? Let me tell you why. Because your son-in-law produces them. You didn't know that? Of course you knew that. He's your in-law. You dumbass. Did you let him do it? Go on, get out of here. <laughs> Look at these. Are you a hunter? <laughs> well, we do go grouse shooting, that's correct. Hmm. Don't you feel guilty? Well... Oh... <laughs> 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 Yes. Where are you now? At the mayor's office. In the mayor's office? That's right. What are you doing there? You're drunk. Tell me how that's your business. Excuse me, you're here for... Are you crazy? Sorry, ma'am. He's new here. Are you insane, don't you know her? So, how's your Nina? What about Nina? Your wife! Oh, she's fine. The children? They're doing good? We have no kids. <laughs> Where can you find a mayor who doesn't have children? Mayors are just like factories! You shouldn't even have to look at these damn papers. Nikolai, hello there. Victor, honey. May I bother you for a minute? What are you doing here? What? Leave me alone! You're nothing but a damn headache! Go! You understand? You shouldn't disappoint me. Because of you! Yes, what is it? Right. 
Where should this be placed? Here, you can put it in the corner. Oh, okay. Over there. I present the flowers. It'll help you lighten up the mood in You here. shouldn't have bothered, Mr. Komokin. Mm. Thank you, sir. Your thank you is not enough. Uh, well then, thank you very much, sir. You're very much welcome. You should put it there, too. Over here. There. 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 Mm -hmm. Just like that. Thank you, everyone. So, in commemoration, we will now be sharing this toast by way of the Bruderschaft, so that our endeavors be full of success. Welcome. So, after the Bruderschaft, we have to... <laughs> really? It is tradition. But isn't that... Mr. Cormican, that's a little... <laughs> if I tell you, you do it. Here's to our success. Yes, of course. Eager? Drunk? Yes. For a while? Yeah. He kicked you out? Mm. <laughs> this is what you're up to? Drink and play? Have fun? Please leave us. Understood, Mr. Balagin. Cherpakov wants to see you. Everybody does. Get in line. <laughs> ah, I see you, brother. What took you so long? My blood, you're looking like a demon. You and your nerves of iron. I understand why you helped me go, from the bottom up to the top. I understand that. To grab a piece of this town's land. To build a modest house and use the town's budget to pay the price. I can even understand your Cherpakov. He's a smart guy since he's grabbed about 49 acres from the town budget. But what I want to know now is why you ratted on Daria. For what? Do you need my wife and don't tell me that it's for nothing? Why are you doing all of this? You finished? Now pack up your things. We're going home now. Answer me. Let's go home. You don't love anyone. And don't tell me you love your kids. Especially not your wife. You've ruined her life, and because of that, she's forced now to live inside a death camp. From this day forward, brother, I'm siding with Irina. I will never support you again. You hear me? Daria. Okay, you're just drunk. But listen here. Yes. I am this. I am this close to raising your pathetic life to the ground. We should leave. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He'll raise you. Look at him. You know, Victor is right. He's right. You don't love anybody. You're angry at Arena like a crocodile because she's become a person and you haven't even noticed. Crocodiles never get angry. They just cry and eat food. Let's go home, Victor. Let's go home, honey. 
You saw nothing here. Mr. Lokdev didn't step foot here. Nothing happened here. I'm not interested in being famous. Irina, there's just nothing to do with that. You're in the same boat with thousands. You can be a perfect example for those mothers. Is that so? But I don't want to be an example to anyone. Well, can't you just go home so you can see for yourself how your children are doing? Can you? No, I can't. I could if I lifted the whole house, including the kids. I'll try that. You don't have to. You have the media. The television's like the big guns of publicity, transparency, honesty. Is Paligan abusing your children? Possibly. Okay. Would you like to invite them to the program with you? You know what? Uh, this conversation has been unproductive. I'm not interested. And leave my kids alone. Hello, is anyone here? Ah, you're the media guy, right? Hello, sir. It's a my pleasure class. to meet you. Imagine that they wanted to make a show out of my story. Utter nonsense. Is it nonsense? I think it'll be an interesting mm. one. If I'm in your shoes, I'd say yes. I'm inclined to agree with them. 